Yeah. 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 It's off to a bang with uh, a little self-titled song there uh, by Razor Knights. You know, we went out and saw them out at uh, Tower Bar here a couple days before Halloween. Yeah. Night out with the boys. It was fun. Uh, Good times. Looks like we're doing like a lagging video kind of thing. That's cool. I like that. Not off the bat. Not off the bat. Brian's here. King Lord. Cam in effect. There's the place to be. When you respect me, welcome to the PPS. We're Thanks. doing Wednesday night. Thanks. It is one night after Thank all. Thank you. It is one night. It is Dia de las Muertes. Welcome to the village. We go play the game. Podcast. Don't walk away from You're going to have to sit with me. us and uh, give praise to... We'll read the Wikipedia article to be more specific, oh, Brian, here. I don't want to fuck up the uh, the culture. We're gonna read maybe later today. Find have, out. What? Let's have a, a teaching moment here on the poorly played stream. Why? We'll find out more about Dia de las Muertes. Oh, okay. So we can. Oh, look, and the fucking. What the fuck? The wheel's not here. Did you die? Off Already to a bad spot. It does look like the vignetted death <laughs> screen what here. Is that? That's our uh, wheel camera and our live check. <laughs> oh my God! Who's? <laughs> There's, sorry, there was a kind of a jump scare there. I didn't, no, Scott. I didn't mean to have a jump scare uh, in the middle of the show, guys, but we're going to get to the wheel Frickin spinning. laser beams. Rest in peace, Vern Troyer. I love when he made that noise. That, oh. all right. All right. All right. But RIP, uh, we're going to think rip. about more uh, lost loved ones rip, on rig. this Day of the Dead. As we are playing Resident Evil Village. That's right. We're bringing them up. <clears throat> this is uh, the day after Halloween. Did you have a good Halloween, Brian? I did. Good. You know why? Here. Because you guys had a bag of candy that was all Tootsie Rolls. It and was. I took that shit home and finished it in <laughs> less than a week. Oh, my God. And it was the best. Oh, my goodness. Now, I can understand people not being huge fans. Not huge. Okay. Of Tootsie Rolls. Or Tootsie Pops, or whatever. Or whatever, have, and I get what it, have I, you. All I ever hear from everybody who ever has anything to say about candy is how much they fucking hate Tootsie Rolls, Tootsie, Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Pops. And before, it's like, before you get too deep into this, I just want to announce that I turned off 
uh, infinite ammo. Oh, okay. Before well, this last game, you know, it was that on makes sense. last week, but you couldn't do it until the menu. But it's off. Anyway, sorry. But here's the thing. Wh- why? Why the only response I ever get for why? Okay. Why, uh, why don't they like, don't tootsie, like tootsie, tootsie, tootsie rolls? Tootsie rolls. Tootsie we pops. we ranked it very low. Everybody does. And 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 that and the response is always the same. What what would you say, Gary? If I asked you, why do you dislike what, the tootsie yeah, tootsie roll? T- the tootsie family. I'm not a chocolate fan, as many found out via that stream. Yeah. I this is like not even chocolate. It's like a chocolate flavored. It's not paste. It's like <laughs> um, it's like a. Uh, it starts out like gum and then it dissolves yeah. into paste. It's I don't. Great. It's just. It seems. I think someone said it last week. Was it Vector? Or someone that was like. It, it's like a byproduct of candy that they're reselling. Oh, I might have said that. It's like yeah. aluminum dioxide. They have to figure out something to do with it. So why not sprinkle it into the air? I, I <laughs> from aeroplanes. What the the most most people who 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 tell me. They just say that it like it's cheap candy. And that's why they don't like it. They feel like that's the cheap or the filler candy. Okay. And that's fine. But because it is that the candy itself is a bad candy. It, I, it's you know, I don't think so. I think it has its place. I think it's like right? it's it's a throwback, like I think this is what also we said last week. It's like a throwback to the old fashioned it's like an Abba Zabba, it's a zero bar. Yeah, yeah it's like old it's candy. It's a Tootsie Roll is like an old style candy. Yeah, you kinda like chew on it, you know? You chew on it, it dissolves, it lasts a little It's longer. miniature, it's so small, you just pop it. Dude, even like the Tootsie Roll, like the full I would get the full on rope rolls, I get the extended Tootsie like All I All those lo- thick ones? I, they Remember they, so... they got the thick ones. Yeah, I love to sit down that and they come just... in the cardboard sleeve even because yes. they're so thick. It yes. Needs, it needs a U shaped sleeve of cardboard. I used to get them that long when I was Look a kid. Look at it, dude. You know what? A woman who smokes, there's something about that, right, Brian? Oh, yeah. If Always. she smokes, she pokes. Uh, That's what they say. I don't know how she doesn't fucking see you here, but... Mom, oh, she's right. looking right at me in the reflection, right? I mean, I would just notice that in my periphery. Yeah. But, um... Can you pronounce, uh, say it three times fast, the title of today's show, Brian? Do you have it written somewhere? Because I don't remember it. It was. No. I'll pr- I'll give you a pronunciation. Pronunciation. Yes, of course. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be the one giving pronunciations. I'll give you a pronunciation. Oh shit! Oh fuck! She's mad at you. Ooh. All right. Demetres Deca Decolatage. Oh! First try, Brian. Nailed it. Demetres Decolatage. Demetres Decolatage. Yeah. The finer things in life are aptly named, so. Yes. Um, I think it's French, I, I would assume. Yeah, I that's I how I read it. I don't know. I don't know. The French seem to have invented all kinds of great things. They seem to have done some good things. The French kiss. The French fry. You know, we got all mad at France during 9-11, but... Uh, well, yeah, because they were weak. <laughs> What are you saying? They knew French that. is the one um, you're allowed to impersonate French. You know, it's kind of hard to uh-huh. impersonate now. You know, I don't want to appropriate you know any other cultures with my white privilege and whatnot. So it's uh, it's a it's a it's, it really stands out when there's a, a a a good voice I can do, a good people I can make fun of as a whole, and the French qualify. They do. We oui, we. Oui. Mais oui. They fucking suck. What are you saying? Their language sounds like shit. This sound, this is the sound of love. Oh, this is beautiful shit. sounding. How can she see you? Uh oh, this is. This is so good. She grabs you and she throws the you through the floor. Oh shit! You ungrateful, selfish. Her her skin is like marble. It's house. beautiful. You lay your filthy man hands on my. Oh no no no! Oh, smashing no. your head into the fucking board. Yes. Robert. You can smash me all you want. I don't know why she doesn't jump down. You get thrown back down into the basement of this castle like four times, right? I don't know. It's like, it seems like a good, it seems like this is the third time I found my ass down here. Maybe. I don't know. 
123 rounds. We lucked out playing all of last week with <laughs> infinite ammo. Yeah, no, that's you didn't use any rounds. So I've all got of that oh. ammo. You probably also had carryover ammo. Uh, maybe I said new game. Huh? Who knows? Who knows? Have I really made an impact with uh, what's his name? The who's the guy I buy stuff from? The Duke. Yes. I don't think I have yet. I, I think I've, like, seen his ass, but I don't think I've, like, bought shit yet. Uh, I think I'm still saving up. Yeah, you saw him before you came in the <laughs> castle. But he'll have a bunch of, like, $0 items that I've unlocked, I think. Probably? Or do you still have to buy them off his ass? I don't remember. Oh, slice my hand off now when I use this. No, it's, it's the one at the end of this. That already ha I think it already happened, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to happen again? No, it hasn't happened yet. You get through this maze, you find another lever like that, uh, oh. and then that's when she slices your hand off. I'm fucking, I'm amazed. Yeah. Like this? Right here. Do it. Do it! <laughs> Man, we played this a lot. Like I'd let you get away. She knows how to haul ass downstairs. She's got fucking electricity, right? She's probably got an elevator. That wasn't the first time he completely lost oh, his me. hand, right? Fuck. I gotta run? Yeah, you gotta kind of run around. D I can't Not attack her or anything? No. Oh, you shit. There you go. What's up, mommy? In VR, I would just run up on these cheeks fast-like. Oh, yeah, dude. Especially in the main hallway when Where'd she's, they go? like, aggroed. Give me the cheeks. Yeah, she's all mad. That was such a good... Give me my fucking hand back. <laughs> To attach it. <laughs> Not right now, though. I need to book it. I think I go key items, craft my hand, severed hand. Um, adjust. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, adjust position. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Even my dude, fucked up. She jacked my jacket. Like the I know jacket's all ruined. But yeah. it doesn't. She just poured the fluid on the metamucite like heels. That's that should have been a giveaway. Look at the jackets. It's, it's it's fucking mushrooms, man. It's lighting. It's a uh, it's fungus, dude. Ryan says his hand got completely cut off in the beginning of seven before he's a mole man, but then they reattach it once he is a mole. Okay. Oh, so the that... family may. Oh shit! Family may <laughs> eat all that shit, right? I was wondering how they retconned it. Uh, 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 uh. Is this right? This is just deeper down. Yeah, I, I think you have to reattach your hands somehow. Hold R1. This is the key. You unlocked it. Boom! Taking this. Oh, with me. yeah, you do it. Taking here. the mask of sorrow. Here. She comes out and she calls you bitch mate. Yeah. She goes, Garrett, you bitch mate. I'll take it. I'll take it. Humiliate me. Little uh, get a little bit of alcohol, a little bisotrace and zinc, yeah. little neosporin. Good as new. Wiggle, wiggle. Let's see. Resident Evil Seven, Resident Evil Eight are the worst Resident Evils. Ah. <sighs> I wonder if I would agree with you story-wise. <clears throat> I'm a fucking purist, man, and man, screw this castle. They haven't really itched the scratch that I need. Uh, is that how you do it? I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They if haven't you, really if you scratched. Talk like you're ten years old still. They haven't really scratched the itch. <laughs> talk like Yoda, Brian. I do. Itch the scratch, must you? <laughs> One, two, three, four. What are you guys doing outside? I love, I love when you count the shots. <laughs> Reload. <laughs> uh, Fun. To who? A three. A three. Okay. I was just joking, but I knew, I knew I would bait Ryan into saying some stupid ass shit. <laughs> What'd he say? Okay. Uh, seven and eight are not traditional Resident Evil games. You actually picked up on what I was saying fundamentally, which is they're not... A traditional Resident Evil game, and I'm fine with that. I like the direction they've gone in. I think it's great. It's um, barely related to Chris, this one. 
And it's, that's as close as you get. And seven is like so distant. Chris doesn't even look like himself I'm, in seven. Right. Like I'm happy that in this game they brought it back to Umbrella and everything because completely leaving that behind was a bummer, in my opinion. What? Redoing it. I just wasted that. Yeah. Um, you know, redoing it and re-implementing it the way that they are is, I think, the right way to go. Um, and then tying it all back in with the remakes so that, you know, there's like a one... They're fun games, but God, they're so loosely tied in with the story. This has nothing to do with a fucking Resident Evil. Of bioweapons and umbrella. So it's like, yeah, R Ryan says 7 and 8 are the best because he doesn't like regular Resident Evil games. He yeah. likes the style of Resident Evil game that they've found Gameplay's out. Gameplay's super fun. Story's yeah. great. Oh, they yeah. beautifully, like, crafted now, AAA titles. Where, where, his, where his dumbass says some ridiculous shit was Ethan Winters is cooler than Leon and Chris. No, go fucking I would fuck give you off. Leon. But Leon, cuz Leon's not... just a rookie in 2, but he's cool in 4. He's and... alright in 4 still. And in 6 is pretty cool. In four, he's for the president. In 4 he's he's pretty badass actually. You're right. By 4 he's he's grown. But I not come be on. All this Chris anyway. Redfield is the ultimate badass and that's just some poppycock, Ryan. Also, the coolest character in any Resident Evil game is Wesker, so... Ow! That's why we need... That's what I'm saying, dude. We need Code Veronica. Yep. Including the Resident Evil series. You guys should watch that if you haven't for Halloween. Watch the Resident Evil series. Oh, the Netflix one? Yeah, it shows With uh, R.I.P. Lance Riddick. We could, we could praise his name on this Day of the Dead, Brian. Yeah. Set a little offering out. Some food. Light a candle. Yeah. For Lance Reddick. I'm missing, man. I really do. Like, genuinely, in a I lot of games, actor. a lot of great movies, um, many incredible roles, and, like, he was Abaddon and lost. Like, he, was, yeah. he just had that, like, look and that, that He was Wesker. <laughs> you know? and, yeah, dude. In that weird-ass Netflix show. And he, and he did great as fucking Wesker. Like, he gave Wesker, like, any sort of credibility that Wesker had in that show came from Lance Reddick's uh, portrayal yeah. of him. He was like a big character in those uh, Sony PlayStation. Uh, what's Aloy's game called? Oh yeah, the uh, Horizon. Horizon Forbidden Dawn. Oh no. Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West. Correct. He was a big scanned-in and voice acting character. I wonder how they're gonna do that. So have I been in here? This is where I first kind of I thought I saw Lady D up in here. Yeah, he plays Silence. Taking a bath. The man. Know. Talk about a, seri a game series that, that you can't tub. get me to, you can't pay me to fucking care about. Say what? Horizon, Horizon? Forbidden West and for Horizon yeah. Zero Dawn. I tried, man. Like, I really tried to get into Forbidden West on stream because that's the only way I could play a game like that. Yeah, I watched a lot of Trish playing, but yeah, it wasn't for me either. Yeah. What's in here? Where's Rose? Where are you? Are you? God damn it, Rose. It's like a dick on a dump. Okay, so... This way we know that goes that down. Takes you to the cellar. She in there? Fuck! I thought no, that was her. No. Just to I know, right? Woo! Scared me. Where is she? She doesn't follow you around like Mr. X, like as much as she could in this game, right? She's probably downstairs uh, though. She does once you get to the do palace side of the castle. Yeah. Do Here? we have a key to go downstairs? Uh, yeah. Now you have the. Don't you have the Demetres key? I think. Yeah, that opens probably some other locked shit check downstairs. Your, check your inventory to be sure. I know I have that key, though, because okay. I used it already. Uh, right. But how do I get down? This way. Yeah. Back through the courtyard, back into the main mansion. I've been playing Mercenaries, too, to kind of, like, freshen up. Oh, uh, yeah. Although it's in first person, which is funny. Huh. I <laughs> thought know, they released a third person view of it. I think Mercenaries is still just you're locked into first. Okay. Um. It, you know, it plays. I, it was so weird. It's like I, I had unlocked Heisenberg oh. and never used him. He, he's like so overpowered. This fucking hammer yeah. move and like, yeah, mercenaries with Chris and some of these dudes that have other moves are, are they're like super oh. overpowered. I didn't realize that uh, they had like. Oh yeah, Chris like fucking just punches fools. Oh yeah, I got one of these heads. Yeah, you gotta put one of these in. So no head. Sorrow. Oh, I guessed right, dude. I'm guessing like crazy. Good. We fucking did that other map first try. What? What's happening? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Uh, this room was not open before to us, was it? Oh, I got a lockpick now. Oh yeah, yeah. you Nothing. can go back through this hallway. 
the first hallway you walk through. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, B drill. <laughs> that's a Pokemon. That is a Pokemon. That, I unlocked it. Should I fight oh, this hoe? Wait, you, no. Wait, you... We gotta get her into some cold air. Oh, this is where I was in their bedroom. Yeah. So this is a dead end. Shit, bitches. Ah. I right. think now you have to go to the dining room. I got ya. Yeah, let that cold air in. I think... Keep following me. I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wanna giggle? Keep I just read Ryan's message. He said, Lady D ooh, and Mercenaries ooh. got me hard. Oh, see, I haven't unlocked her ass yet. Restore my fucking health, please. That's how I misread you're getting, it. You're... I'm getting horny now just thinking about well, it. Well, he didn't get him horny. Yeah, it got... Oh, shit, mommy's home. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn. Whoa. Double done, though. Yeah, come on. Come on out here, Chica. I bet your mom won't come fight when we're out here. Oh, shit. Oh, fudge a oh. oh, fuck. Dude, she's gonna cut your head right off. I'm gonna fucking... You know what? Get your daughter. Is that my daughter in here? Oh, we gotta talk about our song. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> she whoa, follows you whoa, out here, by the way. Whoa. I think you have to go to the other tower on the left. That place, yeah. To so fight uh, one of the other daughters? Yeah, you fight her up here in the library. Yeah, use it, please. Time, Time is of the essence. Woo fuck! Uh. <laughs> Brian. That's what it was. You put the thing, then that shit the girl it. chases you, then you come in here. This is. I don't know. Fuck yeah, dude. The key doesn't doesn't fit. There. You have to go through the uh, piano room. Uh, you have to go through the library, I mean. I've taken so many hits, I almost uh. want to, like. Come at this another time from you another. I mean, you probably have plenty of health, dude. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't need to like save health. So let's fucking play like we yeah, know what we're doing. They give you plenty here. Oh wait, no, I have no more. Well, I forgot about crafting. Yeah, you have to craft it in this game. It doesn't show up in your inventory, which I thought was Oops. nice. And yeah, the nice, the other nice thing about this game was that you don't, you basically don't have to heal unless you're like dying. Yeah. Right. Uh oh. Hello. Hello, Mr. Uh, henchman. And this game's it's still visually so... The ghouls incredible. are great looking. Like uh, We don't have zombies, but we have these fucking geezers or whatever the fuck these are. Yeah. I love them. I'm really... That's why I'm really excited that they're going back to bioweapons and like... Is that just a cell? They took a second to sort of like tie this in from behind. You know what I mean? Like come in and, and create a... A modern reason with the mold and, and yada yada for for how the virus works and where it originated and, and, and like you know like this game t tells you a lot about like Spencer and like why he went back and did what he did because he saw this here and like you know, does this tie in Spencer Mansion? Shit? Oh yeah, 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 I don't remember yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Probably read that like when I first got it, but yeah, oh, I keep going back to this book. Yeah, I you're, love this you're done book. Up here. It's well, just actually, down, right? No, no, no. There might be something you can, like a treasure you can get in that room that you're in, the parlor. Down here? No, the parlor to your left. I feel like there's a treasure somewhere up on the roof or something. Huh. Could be wrong. Check your... I mean, yep. oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fuck with me, you feel sorry. A crystal fragment. Damn, we're getting... I've been just spending ammo like it's mercenaries, you know? Well, yeah, you had 134, <sighs> now know. you have 34. I know. And it's like... Uh, I know they give you mu they give you ammo. Yeah. So maybe no one's dropping ammo because the game's gonna, like going to try to balance itself from where yeah, I was. Yeah, I mean, it, it's smart drops, too. Yeah, You have to exactly. do the piano. They're going to do that. Okay, unlock this. Sorry, you don't meet me. The do the piano. I forget I'm not dealing with Frank. What do I have to do to the piano? You have to play this. Oh, fuck. Really? Yeah, but I mean, it's easy. Once you find what it is. So that's too low. Yep, there oh, you. yeah, that's right. They show you. So Duh. it's that down to. Right? Ooh. I love that they brought back a piano puzzle. Up yeah. An octave. Yeah, there you go. I love that it. you don't have to do them all in a row. Right. Just one at a time, you. <laughs> yep. Thank God. Yeah, Resident Evil without a piano puzzle. It's, it's like this game has all the 
tenets of Resident yes. Evil, but it's also doing this, like, here's the Universal Monsters theme. Yes. Well, I mean, those are the traditional monsters. <sighs> Universal just happens to own the rights to all Yeah, of them. I'm just using that. You, yeah, you'd say I the love, Hammer I films. I mean... I love it. I love it. Oh, no. No. Fuck. What am I doing? Square is reload, not R1. What am I doing? What game do you think you're playing where R1 Oh, well, is I'm playing Mercenaries, and you punch with chris uh, and i punch the power up so i keep walking up and hitting r1 to throw like a right hook right and uh at a barrel but i should just shoot the barrel or get or my knife press out. x yeah or press x yeah hey rusted scrap uh yeah fucking i wonder what i gotta unlock to uh or i wonder what i have to beat to unlock demetresque in mercenaries because i I'm having a hard time. I mean, Heisenberg is very overpowered, I feel. Let's see, Ryan. What do you have to beat to he unlock knows. Demetresque for uh, of course he Mercenaries? Knows. So they added two new maps for Mercenaries mode, and you have to get an S rank on the second one. Uh, S rank on the second one. Oh, my oh! God. God damn, Mommy's home. Yeah, the Bloody River. That's the one with the map at the end where you have to defeat 100 enemies. 100 enemies, yes. I just oh. did that one. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. I only got, like, a B. Huh. Yeah, that one is. Tough. If you do it with Chris, it's super easy. Really? Because punch um, everyone? you well, yeah, you invest a lot in the punch and then the onslaught where he gets like uh -huh. quadruple oh. firing speed, and you just use either. I mean, the pistol works fine, and it just destroys everybody. He goes super fast. I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say. And I, she I, is I fucking I, good because. Oh, go ahead, Brian. You needed to be back in in the room that you ran out of because you just got the iron insignia key. Yeah. I think the wasn't that on the other side of the library upstairs? Whoa. Oh shit! Who's this? Where did these people come from? I don't know. Oh right, because there's like a side mission you can do by going back here. I love that they put soft side missions in Resident Evil, starting with this game. Like, I mean, they've always had them, but like little extras. Way more extra though. It's like, oh, here's a mini boss or a sub boss that you would only get if you read the fucking. Um, files and things that you picked up. What was it in here? Or is this just where you defeat the last daughter? I, I think you can like go back so downstairs. And you're thinking of the uh, the treasure down in the basement, which once you get the Iron Signia key, you can go back to the dungeons and do the puzzle with the uh, the swinging uh, uh, fire yeah. to get the part that goes into the ring that you find oh. in the room upstairs once you do the puzzle That's it. or and the map where you have to it. take it off and then put the animal. Well, because now you can combine with the thing you find in that room and it's worth more money. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah just more money to sell. Yeah, this, this game had a yeah. very nice, um, you know, like... Combination system. Yeah, yeah it was like that RE4 one selling stuff i'd never like combined items to sell them before that i'm trying to think if like code veronica or three had that no no i mean you didn't sell anything in, in, a, in any game before four. Ooh, gunpowder oh, oh shit well no that's not true in thought oh no before four sorry yeah before i'm thinking four. you meant four remake no no yeah no the original four introduced the yeah. uh, finding treasures and collecting um mechanic Oh. And then, um... So, by the way, you did pass up a treasure up here. If you go to the room on the other side of this balcony, it's really? the ball for the labyrinth. I think he, he did grab it. There's the door. Oh, he did he? I, did, I must have missed that. Sorry. Yeah, he, he grabbed it super quick because he did go in the room. Do I have the labyrinth ball? Okay. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I saw you pick Family it up. photo, no. Four Swords Ball, right? Oh, wait. Where'd you see that? Yeah, Four Swords Ball. Oh, God, I can't even fucking... Dude. <laughs> I, You're good. Uh, you got it. I got to say, though. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I really, I feel like it was cool to see 7 and cool to see 8 be VR games. Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, shit, this, this is where I kill her. This is the best version of this game. Far out. The over-the-shoulder. Really? The beholder view. <laughs> I really, I think it, I think it, for me, I'm always going to be more immersed by seeing a character go through shit, um, because then it's like relative, like I had a better feel for the world, um, it's not as much of a horror game, so I understand that aspect of it, but in terms of like, what the game experience Ow. I was provided with, so much more fun, uh, doing it in third person. Why did you do this? 
I can't, like, I like I would not go back the other way. I hope they make... Oh, she's dead. Um, I hope they do that upgrade to 7 if it's at all possible. I don't think it is by virtue of how the game is designed. But if they do... And I don't think they go back to it at this point. No, I think they've, they've yeah, reached their limit, too. Yeah. But, I mean, it's cool that they you know, even I'm made glad. a PS5 version of that game. That's fucking sick. I'm glad we got them. Right? I'm glad there is something different, and uh, I'm just ready to, like... You know, there were a bunch of rumors I saw today about Resident Evil 9. Uh, I don't know if any of those hold any water because it's like shit you read on Twitter, right? But uh, yeah, I'm 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 ready for more Chris, Jill, Leon, and Claire. And see, I want more. I like I know the story of Ethan is over, but yeah. like I want more Rose. I want this. I. I mean, to be fair, the first Resident Evil I ever beat was 7, so maybe it's like, you know, how they say your first Mario Kart is always the best Mario Kart. Maybe I'm just spoiled on this. Yeah. But well, the way that these two play have been the only games that have ever gotten me into speed running. Like, yeah. I am uh, enthralled by these games. These games capture everything that made the original Resident Evil games great, but does not use the stale gameplay. So, like... Ryan, what you're talking about, like, the exhilaration that you get out of playing these games, that is exactly why I loved the original RE2. Like, once I beat those games, speedrun, 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 over and over, knowing where all the stops are, getting everything, dodging enemies instead of shooting everybody, that's exactly how I play this version of the game, too. And, uh, oh, this is when she finds out that bitch is uh -oh. dead. Um, She's about to be so yeah, Ryan. Like th that's why I like these games because they brought it back. They said we're going back to what the what what would be the modern equivalent of what we do. Good job. Uh, Second try uh, of what we did with the original Resident Evil games, and uh, and they nailed it. I mean, it's um, oh you can do the ball maze now. Yeah. Is it in here? No, it's on the other side of the foyer. It's in the Duke's room. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have, I I need to go visit the Duke and like save. Because oh, I just killed a dog. By the way, you know that you can look at those masks and the items and see exactly how many prongs are on the back? Yes. You don't have to guess? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm just being lazy. I can't believe we oh, last fair. week <laughs> have all the fucking uh, puzzles, you know, pointed at, or the statues pointed at each other and got that one puzzle our first try. Yeah. Um, Good job. Yeah, do you... Uh, do you like any of the older There's Resident Evils? Do you like patronage. Six, even? I've expanded my services. I mean... I liked playing six because I played it with Matthew Bruce and we were shitting on it the whole time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, is it a good game? No. Is it fun with the right people? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I, and I know that this is going to, well, you you're going to want to hang on with me immediately. I did have more <laughs> fun playing RE six with Bruce than I did playing the original RE four by myself. Okay. I mean, you're entitled. I know. I know you like six. I famously hate Resident Evil Giraffe Blowjob. It's just not. A, yeah. It's not a good Resident Evil game. I I don't like. I I really like RE4 Remake. I think it's honestly at this point probably the best, if not the top three games of the year. Yeah, yeah. RE3. I really. The, you said RE3 or RE4? RE4. Sorry. RE4 Remake, the one that came out this year. Yes, gotcha. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, amazing. I I've been very happy with two through four. <laughs> uh, that's why I really all do the want well, to Veronica. I I hated RE three remake. RE two remake might be the most perfect survival horror game. Yeah, and I I had problems with RE three, but RE four remake fixed everything that I yeah. personally didn't like about RE four. Being someone who didn't play it when it first came out, like the first time I ever played RE four proper all the way through was during uh, COVID. Okay. And the idea of having to stop and shoot infuriated me. <laughs> yeah, remake really fixed But it's because I wasn't used to it, you know what I mean? Sure, yeah. sure. And I get that our, if it wasn't for RE4, we wouldn't have any of the video games we have now. And I understand that it is a masterpiece of the time. Of the time, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. But, it but, but hey, now man, that RE4 remake exists, I never have to play that bullshit again, <laughs> and I can yeah. just play the good, the brought, good version. You know, if you want to play the old bullshit again, it's there for you. But if you don't, yeah, it's it's been updated, it's been modernized, and I think that's, 
I think they've done a really good job. Capcom has been like killing it lately. Um, in the last couple of years, like RE2 was like my favorite game of the year when that hit. Yeah. RE4, I would think. Oh, maybe what a great game. game! Every year they released a game, a Resident Evil. It's been my game of the year for that year. No joke. Really, even RE3 he remake. Wrote, I fucking he lo love. Brian played so much of that, RE3 dude. Yeah, he remake. loved that. You know, because do we have a quick discussion about that? Yeah, it's so it's not, just sell it's not yeah. what the other games were. It's a remake of Resident Evil 3, which already was not really a survival horror game. It was a constant pursuit what? action game. And it we're was changed, Garrett, you can sell anything. You can sell anything that does not stay combinable. Yes. Because that means you need to find something else. Anything okay, else? Gotcha. Sell it. And okay. It, yeah, it's very clear. Sorry, Brian. Go ahead. This is the first time I've talked to Duke. No, it, the the problem with RE3 is that they sold it like it was a full independent game. Uh -huh. I think they misstepped on that because a lot of people could uh, very easily beat it in less than you know. I mean, like Resident Evil 2 remake, your first time through probably took you 20 hours or more to beat, right? Like better gamers maybe a little longer, but I savored it. I looked in every area. I did all this stuff. Like I'm, I'm actually now itching again to replay it because I've never played it on KLBR for, uh, for February scary and do my like. I always start with Claire. That's yeah, my run. That's your run. Um, and I'm, then doing I'm, it through. I'm thinking right now. I, it would not be like I didn't want to use unlimited ammo last week. Yeah. I don't want to use Chris's guns because that would be unfair too. Yeah, I would say for for this run. Not you, for this run. You could not use. I'm just them. gonna upgrade the Lemmy. Yeah, upgrade, upgrade, and the, the, and the shotgun. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, for me, Resident Evil 3 was so much fun to run. Yeah. Like, it was, it, I think what, why I liked it so much was that I knew more than halfway through it that I was ready to start over and play it again. Damn, dog. And, like, maybe, maybe that was why, but it, it really, I just enjoyed the gameplay. It felt like you had already beat 2, so you were powerful enough to have your guns, you could shoot a little bit more. I also realized that... The, um, the mechanic for how to basically avoid zombies. Because Resident Evil 2 and 3, it. it's not like There this... is kind of like a formula for it, right? Yeah, with 3, you have yeah. to burn the zombies. So, otherwise, the, they'll come back. And 2, it, uh, same thing, but it, it's very limited, right? Which so... is like taken from, it's so funny, RE1 remake that was on the GameCube. Right. So crazy how it's like, uh, even that old-ass remake, they started this kind of like method that they keep you know even now yeah and like the coolest thing about it is that later on you unlock there's all this post game stuff for QO uh, quality of life changes in the game that applies so, uh, in such a fun way to the point where you get the hot dogger where you can burn oh, yeah. all, the, all the enemies Automatic automatically burn. but then I also learned how to do the setup shots for that game so it's just a fun Resident Evil game to play you shoot their knees out you, you destroy their legs and then they can't, they're alive, but it only took a quarter of the bullets it would take to kill And you kill could just it. leave them. And you could just leave them. Leave or them crawling. once you get the hot dogger, you can just light them on fire with the fucking hot dog. Like, it, yeah. the first run through was reminiscent oh, of powered. the original Resident Evil 3. And then every subsequent run through was, was exactly what I love about, I mean, Vector said this last week when he called in. Exactly what I love about this genre. The first run's hard, it's a little bit more survival, and it's a, it's a little bit difficult, but the subsequent runs are like speed runs. How can I do this more efficiently and effectively? And it just, it, it's like, it's the perfect pace for me, and uh, and then, yeah, I can beat it in, like, less than a day. Like, I can beat that game in now, one day. Damn. Now, can I give you the other side of it? Yeah. Please. So, Holy. my history of Resident Evil was, you know, I was playing 7, playing RE2 Remake, playing 5 and 6, and then playing 3. And the okay. things I loved about 7 and RE2 Remake were the methodical searching and the puzzle. Yeah. Yes, a lot of hallways that are RE3 has, RE3 has one puzzle. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the in the entire game, game. The original game almost had no puzzles in it. It was constantly running away from Nemesis. Sure. And in RE3 Remake, Nemesis is not like Mr. X was in 2, where he's a fully cognizant character running around. He only shows up at very specific points and only uh, follows you for very specific points. So it's not like you don't get that same terror of, oh, no, Mr. X could be around the corner at any point. Nemesis is only ever going to be here. He's going to show up. He's standing here. He's going to fire a rocket launcher. Then you're going to run past him. 
He's not going to follow you. You're going to go here. So it, that kind of lost me there. It is so much more linear than 7 and 2 remake were. Sure, it, it is. It is super linear. It seems like um, they cheaped out. Uh, I like it, but it's... The original Resident Evil 3 wasn't just like, hey, let's make something quick with the assets of 2. It was its like own type of game. Yeah. And I feel like the 3 remake was like, hey, let's fart something out with all the assets from 2 remake. And totally yeah. change how the Nemesis fight even happens. We really changed his fucking character design, too. Yeah, yeah it, it wasn't the best, but I don't hate it. And the, I wish, the I wish part it got more um, but if The part with Carlos in the hospital yeah. is probably my favorite part of that game. Yes, but then it, it ends in that sit in a room and shoot a hundred dudes, yeah. which is fun the first like time, but when you're having to... So yeah. you're mandatorily made Ryan, to do it. Ryan's right. Like some of those parts, like that horde horde moment, is a little annoying. Uh, the the part in the actual hospital and trading between that and um, and Jill, I really enjoy. I, I think what it is is that after There's something worth it down here. You said after was it down here, Ryan, or was it somewhere else? It was. It was. What like are you a, looking for? You looking for the? Are you looking for the? Um, you guys were just saying like if you back the treasure. If you just backtrack to the so, dungeon. Okay. Hold on. And Pull up thinking, your map. I'll show you exactly no, where it is. Oh, Wait a Ryan, second. Stop. You got to turn your oh. mic up. Ryan. Oh. Ryan. Stop. Did you guys hear? Hold on. What's up? Did you guys hear about what do they're remaking next? I'm a big deal. No. After what? four? What are they doing next? Oh, I don't know. I'm just curious if you heard it. Oh, now. shit. <laughs> I want Code Veronica <laughs> personally. Uh, yeah. But that's, that's me. Ryan? Yeah, oh, Ryan. Ryan, oh. he's gone. Okay. Oh, okay. Bye. Yeah, but I, I, Ryan, I, I totally hear that. I just, the thing is, it was more fun Resident Evil, and, like, the fact that it did tie in with two, so if you knew the passcodes to lockers and where certain things were, you actually could, like, yeah. shortcut it. The big step, misstep, is the same thing. People didn't like Resident Evil 3 the first time it came out because... It was a. It was different enough. So different. Yeah. Um, that like, yeah, it didn't have as many puzzles. It didn't have like the same sort of thing. Yeah, and I'm so, back in here. Isn't there something? Trust. So like... hold on. Pull up your map, and I will show you where it is. Okay. Buildings. Oh wait, it's right there. You're in front of it. Oh no, this is not it. I'm sorry. I forget. I'm on a delay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Go. Delayed. Do you see on that red part where there's the little symbol of the iron uh, insignia? That's the door. Tasting room. Oh, okay. oh right okay. there. You're right. You're right. You're, okay, it's behind me. Yeah. You went the other way. Okay, cool. That's it. Thank Sorry, you. Sorry, I'm on a delay, so I'm seeing you oh, like no, six, you're good. six seconds ago. Yeah. Um, But, the, okay, Brian, the thing, I haven't even gotten to the thing that pissed me off the most about RE3 Remake, which is the final boss fight Brian. on anything <laughs> other than normal difficulty. Yeah. Is complete bullshit with the timing. Is it? Where you have to shoot that thing with the laser. Oh. And then, you know, get around it. You have to do the thing where, you know, you pull out the cells again. Yes. They made the timing of, you better be already running to go there before you even make the shot, or else you won't have enough time to even pull one out. And if oh. you get there, it'll one shot you start the whole boss fight on. Wow. Okay. Oh, that sucks. On the hardest difficulty, it is, it is just tedious. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't normally go on the... Well, yeah, you don't go for the trophies like I do, so you don't have that same problem. So it's really cheap on the hardest difficulty, but I mean, yeah. at it that point, it's supposed cheap. to be in not in a fun way. It's supposed no, to yeah. be hard. No, and I and I and I get that. Well, no, there's a difference between hard and like challenging, and hard and like okay, we made instead of two seconds to open this thing, you have half a second, and sometimes you'll just get caught on bad geometry, and it's not even your fault. Yeah, I think you should. I could not remember how to do it's this. It's better with a gun. Yeah. Hey, you, have to, you do have to use a pipe bomb to blow open that wall first uh, so that you can... Okay, something explosive that so that you can uh, get the thing, yeah. Okay. I remember wasting a lot of ammo in this room when I first... <laughs> yeah, I forgot about pipe bomb. ...played this game. But yeah, Ryan, I, I, hey, I get that. I think they should have released it as an expansion uh, to two. I think it would have made people not be as upset. Yeah. Overall, they would have received it better. And, I... like, didn't it not even... Like, it... Resident Evil 2 had that asymmetrical, that three-on... 
or that one on five. No, game. no, that came out with three remakes. Yeah, that, that came out with three or whatever it was called. That came with three. Resident Evil Resistance came out with three remakes. You're thinking okay. of Reverse, which was supposed to come out with this game. They didn't yes. come out until like two years later. Yes. I never played it. That's Did you? First, that's the first Resident Evil game that yeah I've never played. That's uh, the first one. I just like yeah. I don't definitely. even know what it is at this point. It's <laughs> like a, it's some sort of online. Well, what's worse, like, dude? Like deathmatch, right? Uh, something like, like that. Kind of, but like I don't know. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was Silent Hill Ascension. I think came out like this week, where people are finally getting a view of whatever this like augmented reality, uh, kind of like choose your own adventure Silent Hill game is. Have you guys Wait, seen that? I haven't even yeah. heard of this. Was remember? this announced during their whole, like, yeah. Silent Hill 2 thing or whatever? Ryan, can you look this up? Uh, Ascension, I believe is what it's called. But uh, it was, like, announced in that whole big Silent Hill stream. Dude, I'm wasting so much ammo with this. Do you want a hint on this, Garrett? Yeah, how do you do this? Just run into so it? So when you shoot it towards it and you go to the other side, don't shoot it until it's swinging towards it. Yeah, you keep shooting it while it's going to... Away, you so swing, you keep shooting while swinging like, away so they don't remember match it. what the fuck I, uh, Silent Hill is called. But uh, is it Ascension? Yeah. So this is like a daily fucking pay bits to vote. Uh, and we can like choose what happens in the game. And you'll watch this pre-rendered cutscene uh, that they're basically, you know... I'm not interested in this kind of entertainment. <laughs> is it a movie? It's a movie? Like, no, is that, or is it a video game? It's a website. It's like very. Um, it's like watching, like horse racing, and you bet on what you want to happen or some shit like that. Oh, is it like a fucking Telltale game? No, no it's, it, it's it's completely like, oh. streamed each day at a certain time, and if you like sign up and pay. Like, you can vote, like, if you were watching, like, Fish Tank on, like, how shit's going to go down or what's going to happen. Oh, okay. And then, you know, I don't know how many bits or how many Konami yeah. credits you have to, like, post or whatever uh, or use to post. But, you know, there's a chat. There's, like, these choose-your-own-adventure options. And then, you know, tomorrow, whatever the most popular thing will happen. I'm getting horny now, just thinking about You'll it. watch another cutscene of, like, a mutilated uh, nurse and huh. a fucking pyramid head or something. I don't know. Weird, right? <laughs> it doesn't seem like a good move for the first... It's, yeah, it's a streaming show. Konami uh, Silent Hill can, thing. Like, yeah, you can vote. That's what, yeah. that's what the UI looks like right there, guys. This seems kind of interesting. You can customize it like a multiplayer game. Get the iPhone. But it's not a game now. This is like... I don't know. Fucking... Huh. Gamble. Doc. <laughs> this is like playing uh, uh, Gin Rummy. I don't know. That's cool. Whatever. They're doing something with it. I don't care. They're doing something. They're doing something. All right. Well, Ryan, yeah, can you help us with this puzzle? Because I just wasted like so much fucking ammo. You shoot the one that's on fire towards the one that's not on fire. You get around to the ah. other side. When it's swinging towards you, you shoot it at that point. They'll touch. You'll get money. So line them up. This, I could never do this. I never knew the trick. I think I tried to do it with guns. Okay. Shoot it now again when it's swinging away from me. No, go to the other one and shoot it towards it. So you shoot this one Boom. while it's swinging. Go to this one. And then when it's swinging towards you again, now shoot it. Now, you should like. Boom. There, you there go. we go. Right on. Okay. Good job, dude. Good God, is right. All There's right, well, some kind of vampire in here. Thanks for calling, Ryan. Yeah, that was awesome. Call, dude. Are we gonna see you? We're yeah, no, we're on tour. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys next next Tuesday. I'm so excited. Well, I'm gonna see Garrett next Tuesday. Yeah, in what city? What city are we seeing you? In? <laughs> Portland. Portland. Hell yeah, dude. We're going to plug so, everything merch-wise as soon as we come back. Uh, but Ryan's coming. Get your tickets now. Oh, yeah. Mega64.com slash tour. The doctor himself. Everyone come to the tour. The, Everyone the, have a great night. The farewell tour is tickets. kicking off its last leg. 
still available. Get Tickets still available. That's right. Vancouver is sold out, but Portland, I believe, we're still open. Come see Doc Ryan. He's going to be right there with you. you can, yeah. You can tell him how fun. you feel about Tootsie Rolls. Actually, don't do that. Leave Ryan alone. He's trying to have a nice, <laughs> what, what, enjoyable what? night out. What's wrong with Tootsie Rolls? Nothing. I don't know. How do I you feel? Them. How do you feel about Tootsie Rolls? They're fine. They're not my number one, but wow. they're okay. Yeah, there's I love there's them. no shortcut out of here. You got to walk all the way back out. Yeah, you got to walk all the way out of there. Yeah. Okay. But you got the gem, so now you get to put it in the thing. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah, crystal fragment it's goes so fun. inside a necklace you get later. I I don't have the necklace yet. No. It goes inside a ring that you're not gonna get until you go to the room with That's the third uh, bug lady, and it's gonna be in a drawer. Okay, uh, and then you're going to fight the bug lady and then you can put it together and you'll get a lot of money and put that into bug... making your gun better. The third bug daughter? Wait, I thought there were Yeah, one. you've you've fought no, two bug three. ladies. I've killed two of her daughters. Oh. There's three bug daughters. I thought I killed yeah, the there's first the first one, one in, in the kitchen where you learn There's the first one in the kitchen yeah. where you learn that they don't like cold. The second one is in the observatory where he opened the the uh the, fucking the skylight. ceiling. Yeah. And now he's going to go to, now that he's got the iron insignia key, he's going to go back to the library side. He's going to open up that side. He's going to go to the room Listen to uh, he knows everything. that allows him to go upstairs. And then you take the mask off, but then the, the door shuts behind you. So you have to go to the annex next to it. And you find the animal skull that has the same oh, number shit. of prongs. You put that in, you get out. But Bug Lady right, wants to fight you. hang up on him because it's getting a little right. too... Uh, spoiler here. Well, I didn't intake Oh my oh, god. So. Where'd she come from? Come on. Oh, you and your mom are up oh, here? Oh, that's why. Oh boy. Like, when did that happen? Oh boy. You just... Just backed myself into a corner, didn't yes, I? Yes, you did. Ow. Oh man. Uh, to your right? Mamma mia. This is oh, my no, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a room in here you can open with this key. Da 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 da. On the right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give a chest. Oh, please give me the prompt again. Oh, please. There we go. There you go. Mask of pleasure. And it locks and Then it locks, you. and I gotta go under. Ooh, what's in here? There's, there's the that, ring you was that talking ring about. Ryan was just talking about. Damn, dog. He knows it inside and out. Hold on. While we're here, let's make another one. No, of honestly, like, this game and uh, it's true. all it Resident got him Evil into... games just make me want to replay them immediately when I'm done with them. Like, that's that's just how I am. Like, for me, it's 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 the it's the perfect kind of gameplay, and I love it. Whoa, it removes. Happy Halloween, guys. Yeah, I never noticed it. Oh, I was going to ask Ryan what he did for Halloween. Oh. Oh, um, shit. I, uh, you said you got a few trick-or-treaters no. last night? No, zero. none. Yeah, I never get trick-or-treaters either. Uh, but last night I was, I was out. I was out on the road for work. I was driving back from Los Angeles, like, late. Yeah. So I got home at, like, you know, instead of getting off work at normal time, I got home at, like, 8, right? Mm hmm But I stopped. I hung out with, you know, my homeboy, uh, DJ Syntho, who helps out. Every yeah. year, back in the day of game days, we DJ'd uh, up at L.A. Uh, for Anime Expo this year, oh, Anime yeah. Expo Chibi last year. Are you doing Chibi this year again? Or? No, no, I'm not. I'm not going to Chibi this year. Um, I uh, I went up though to hang out with James while I was up there. I was like, oh, let's just grab some food when you get off work. And uh, it was cool because I know he's moving to Japan. Fucking, he got a job, and he's like gonna move there. So cool. it was cool getting to hang out and see him before he left. But uh, anyway, when I got home, it was like, well, dude, I didn't do anything for Halloween, like, at all. Uh, I should, I should like, watch Rocky Horror Picture Show or sure, something. yeah. So I threw that. Instead, I, like, went over. I was like, do I get VHS? Do I get DVD? I was like, hmm, you know what? Let's fucking, let's just stream it on Hulu. This will be easy. Threw that on. And then uh, after that, it started playing Queen of the Damned with Aaliyah. Oh, yeah. That was I a good have movie. never, I realize I've never seen it. Oh. Like, ever. So that was a new one. And the night before, I watched Critters with Trish. That was like oh, my other Halloween. Good movie. Yeah, another good Halloween classic. <laughs> oh, this is new stuff in here. Yeah, I think this is where you have your last. Uh, I fight. My sister oh, yeah. Old. I have to hold it. Are you 
British. I have to I'm, hold it. I have to hold it. Uh, I have to hold it. You gotta throw a pipe bomb at that wall, though. Gotta get the pipe bomb out. Hold it. Hold on a tick. Are you holding out? Let me get me? the let me get the pipe bomb. Oi, mini me. What do you think of that, Jessica? You ruined the hunt. Yeah, I fucking whatever. Shut up. Ah. Shh, don't you ever tell me to fuck. My body. Your body? Oh yeah. Body and blood. Woofa! Stay away from my neck. I don't. I'm a mole man. Oh no, man. you do. Yeah. It's like uh, I don't think you have a block for this game. Then I realize it's What's that. Tell one. She's almost dead. She's dead. Oh, that's it. She's already just done. Yeah, these are that hard. Three, two, one. Fuck, fuck it. I know they'll fall apart anyway, but I like to shoot them like I did it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an anime when the knife goes through and it goes. And then you're the, already then dead. The things go. Okay, so that's the third daughter down. Yes. Now you got to get something off the wall. Do I go outside here? No, but I think there's a um, one of those fucking things you can collect there. Mounted animal skull. What are the things you shoot in this game? Fiestas? No, I don't know. No. Oh, a rocket raccoon? Yeah, Is are there raccoons in this it's game? outside here? Yeah, I think so. Down. I can, you can hear it usually. It's a... What are... In 7, they were bobbleheads. Yeah. In this one, they're little raccoons. Is it really out here? Yeah, it's... Well, it's... Like in the fucking... The it's like in a tree out here? It's on the roof of one of these. Oh, things. really? Fuck that. I don't have a sniper rifle. I'm not mistaken. I don't have a sniper rifle, Brian. Blind, I don't have a sniper Wooden rifle. Goats. You might you know what? I think it already it still had yours from the first time through, Prob so you might have already gotten it. Probably. Shouts out. Uh let me check the map. What's that? Whoa. <laughs> Does that just mean like we blasted a hole there? Okay, cool. Hall of Pleasure. This is considered the Hall of Pleasure? Damn. There's more for me to pick up yeah, here. Yeah, some rusted some scrap. Now it turns Piece blue. Shit. <laughs> oh, now it, the Hall of Piece Pleasure. Of garbage. It should open. Yeah, you put the little head in there. Because the daughter's take... dead. Oh, the yeah. goat head. Yeah. This is what oh, you have to take the back off the goat head yeah, first. Yeah, gotta look at it. Give me this goat head. Nope, not you. This one. Bah. Oh. Unscrew you. I think it's about coffee refill time, is Brian. It? I don't know how you feel. I'm doing good. Feeling nice. We're gonna plug we're gonna plug some dates and some merch in a second. That's we're right. gonna go to a quick commercial break. We're gonna pop this animal skull in where it do belong. The door's gonna open. Uh Brian, can you hit me on that Mega Sixty Four Twitter? Yes I can. Please. Because what we're talking about here, we talked about it with Ryan. He's gonna be at the Portland show. That's right. We're going on tour, Mega 64, all of your favorites. Rocco, Derek, Sean, myself, Kevin, Johnny. Hey now. Come to Portland, you'll see Ryan. Come to LA, you might see Brian. Hey now. I'm so fucking happy. We're all so happy to be hitting San Francisco on Friday night at the Swedish American Hall. Nice. Up to Sacramento, Portland, Seattle. Vancouver is sold out. What are you going to do? You're not going to come because it's sold out. Salt Lake City, Utah, Denver, Phoenix. And then we're ending it on the 16th in Los Angeles at the Regent Theater, just like we played last laugh. This is the farewell tour. Be sure to get your tickets over at Mega64.com slash tour. So what? So what? So what is Los Angeles? We're gonna have new merch. We're gonna have rare and deep items that you're gonna want to visit, Kevin. So deep. The VIP ticket package is gonna come with meet and greets, early entry, access to the front row. Ooh, meow. I'm telling you right now, uh, shop.mega64.com or mega64.com slash tour, I should say. Brian, can you back up? We got some highlights of Super Eyepatch Wolf and Eric Badur yeah, on the look show. At look at that. You can see that. New podcast is up as of yesterday. 
Uh, wait, it's not there. It's here. Eric Badur was in town. Uh, he was a guest. I had to sit the night out, but uh, Rocco, Sean, Eric, and our dear friend, our new friend, Super Eye Patch Wolf. They awesome. came by. They dressed up, and they did the the damn thing without us. What is this? I'm sorry. Very distracted. Every year, Rocco fucking has to make fun of this guy. I mean, it's <laughs> fucking Linus. <laughs> Charlie Brown. I, I like. I was like staring at that, and losing my train of thought. Uh, the last creepy pasta theater has been released. Check it out on YouTube. Find out uh, what the frequency holds for you. But yeah, all of uh, our Hell Festival items, <laughs> yeah. if they are sold out, I believe a Look few. I think Hell Festival, the Howlin' and Howard might be up for pre-order. Still shopped on Mega64.com. <laughs> Get it while it's there because it's going down soon. Halloween's over, folks. It's the Day of the Dead. Uh, through a series of increasingly poor decisions, I became known as Super Eye Patch Wolf Online, and now I'm here. <laughs> and let's talk like about that why you're here. Let's just get into it because they're actually is, they're, your name is John Walsh. Yeah, that's wow. why I didn't make that the name of my <laughs> channel. <laughs> Eric just fucking back to busting balls. <laughs> just roasting him in, on his fucking name. He's in San Diego for five minutes. He's a guest in our house, and you know we have a guest over. And, oh my. Yeah. Well, Matt, you know. I apologize uh, to you on behalf of our friend Eric's manners. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Brian, we're gonna be right back. Jesus Christ is the one. Uh, I'm gonna get a coffee. How about He's doing you? a brand new, new thing. Life. He is. He's doing a new thing for Jesus. Cheese and rice. And he Jesus boys and girls. Boys and he boys and he's Jesus Christ and he's doing a new thing for us. Fuck Christ. <laughs>
listen. Are you the one that cuts hair? Okay, we're coming back, Brian. <sighs> you ready to do this? I guess. I mean, yeah, we might as well. We're here. Yeah. We're already here, right? Fuck it. Pervert. Uh, welcome back, guys. Um, this is a bummer, I know. It's a real bum. Bum deal you got going on with us bum here. Bum dog millionaire. <laughs> so check it. We talked about the tour. It's true. We talked about the merch that's still on sale from Hell Festival. We talked about our Halloween plans. Yeah. Eric was down. Our dear friend from Rooster Teeth, Eric Badur. The rap man himself, the face jam rap man in the flesh. You know him, you love him. What the fuck? He was also in town. We saw at the top of the hour, uh, we heard, uh, rather, Razor Knights open this uh, with a, the self-titled song. Razor Knights played down at the Tower Bar. It was cool to get to... That was the only time I really got to see him because I wasn't on the podcast. Yeah. But down at Tower, uh, hanging out with you a little before the show started. Yeah, it was a nice time. And they had a tight, you know, what, probably seven songs they got in? I think so. Fuck, I wish Maybe it was more. I I would have, I would have loved 15. Yeah. There's so much music between those four dudes. Yeah. Because there's been different iterations of that group of guys yes. playing music together, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely been. Um, been but God, uh, they ended the night with three covers, which uh, they never do. Never, I've never seen Mario do covers or Andrew, for that matter, in any of the bands they've been in. But yeah, it was uh, it was uh, Rockaway Beach by the Ramones, mm -hmm. and then uh, was it I turned into a Martian or Skulls? No, it was I turned into a Martian by the Misfits, mm -hmm. and then to cap it all off, dancing with myself. By Billy Idol, uh, and that was unusual. I thought, yeah. but what a fitting! It was perfect for like a Halloween show. Great, great choices. <laughs> uh, again, never seen them do. I think maybe I've seen Mario do another. Everyone one or was two singing. Other covers, I feel like yeah. I've seen him do a Ramones thing before. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. I, feel, I feel like they've done something like that. I mean, a lot of their songs are kind of like, you know, a Ramones song. Anyway. Daka, duka daka, duka daka, duka daka. Yeah, it was. It was a really fun fucking time. We always talk about Razor Nights here. Always get a chance, go check them out. They got actual vinyl records out there. We have one of them. So if you guys uh, are looking, yeah, we got to find out. There was a big donator, Brian. You said we know who that was to our, our buddy yeah, Mario's yeah. GoFundMe. But I, uh, I guess they didn't want to come forward and that, claim their prize. Yeah. It, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna keep, like you said, Brian, until they want their prize. I'm gonna keep that vinyl and I'm gonna just spin it for them. You know, in my well, shit. If you don't have in, one, you should take it. In my future goings on, you said that before, but because I was if like, if you don't have one, you should take it. I should. I should, <laughs> I should. It's a great record. I should. I I, I know, and I love, and I don't have it and now. I could play it live at Anime Expo or yeah. Tyocon or whoever, wherever the fuck I'm at next. What was the last? Uh, what was Ooh. the re last record that you bought? The last record I picked up. Was our Halloween shouts out at shop.mega64.com. That doesn't. Count. It was our Halloween. Yeah, but Brian, it's so fucking I know. good. The Mega64 I know. It Halloween dance party record is so fucking Ooh, yeah. good. Because I'm telling you, I didn't know my uh, Werewolves of London cover was gonna make it to that, oh. and it's on there, dude. So what? Ah, uh, ooh, I saw. Werewolves of London. Saw a werewolf eating a pina colada trade of Vicks. His hair was perfect. Yo! Yeah. Eric loves that part. Perfect. Yeah. Me and Eric will always single that part out whenever that comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lip! <laughs> okay, uh, I, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. But, okay, aside from our own record, which all of you can get at uh, Okay, what was the last thing I picked up? Dot com. Mm. Yeah, what was the last record that you purchased? Now you take the head back down to the something on tour. I'm trying to think of what it would have been, though. Oh, Ooh. hey, baby. Baby cheeks. Oh, smack that ass. Yeah. Uh... It was probably something on tour that I picked up at a record shop, like towards the end. What city would that have been in? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, wait. I tweeted them out because I went to uh, Trisha's birthday was early October, right? Or like mid-October, right? So one of these like fucking LA trips I went on for her was up to a place called The Last Bookstore. Oh, okay. It's downtown Los Angeles? Well, thank God yeah, they had, yeah, they had records. It. 
Yeah, they have a lot. You've of been there, right? So uh, I was I tried to through... go there, but parking was shit. No, uh, you go figure. It's L.A. Yeah, we just paid a lot. Yeah, it was like twenty bucks to fucking park, and I'm so like, so three uh, daughters are dead. Where do I face? You gotta her? take the, the next thing down there. The, oh, the, the next face. That's right. Yeah. Before she sees she my She's down here, I think. She is. Yeah. Is she gonna come up? Yes. I'll hide. You can run past her. Going to Duke's room. She'll go away. The entire blood. Oh, they were bug daughters, dude. You don't. You don't want to fucking raise bugs. You can do so much better. Than bugs. Oh shit. Wow. I thought I could run past yeah, her. Yeah, I don't know what the plan was there. He I got thought I could run to a tight hallway, and I'm like, he's. I thought I had enough room to run he's past done her. So. All right. Well, we got enough time now to put yeah. the, the mask down. Uh. <clears throat> so anyway. We went to the last bookstore and yeah. bins of 45s, which I usually don't dig through 45s, but I had so much time to kill because she's looking at all these books and whatnot. And, uh, you know, she's taking forever in the store, which is fine because it takes forever for me to dig through crates of dusty old records. Yep. But I got an Edgar Winter Group. Speaking uh -oh. of Werewolves of London, uh, on our Halloween dance party, available now at shop.mega64.com. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, man, uh, the, the, uh, Edgar Winter album where he's, like, half naked on the cover. I love it. And then I also got, uh, a little Nell from Rocky Horror Picture Show, you know? Oh, okay. Um, she's the one who's in love with Eddie. Yeah. I got a, a, a disco single of her doing, uh, what is it? Fuck. It's good. It's a good, it's a, it's a. It's a single. I think it's an acapella on the other side. But it's a 12-inch single. Um, some disco version of, like... I fucking tweeted it. Oh, I can't remember now. Oh, can you go to my Twitter? It's, oh, it's sure. just right there. I just was running away from D, but I don't know exactly now. You might have now. to come out to this area and do something with... Like, in another one of these yeah. hallways that we haven't done. Because now you have the iron key. It's like, where are the enemies? This is... Oh, we already did things in here. Oh, hey, baby. I might loop her around. I love uh, that movie, Looper. Pooper. Is it, it back up at her house? What did you tweet? Sorry, we got, we some did pictures and some records. Keep going down. It would have been like on the like 18th. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Boom, there it is. It was Sphere Destiny, oh. the Duran Duran View to Kill. Yeah, those two 45s. And the Fever, she gives me fever when she touch me. Fever when she holds me tight. You know that song? Yeah. Fever no, when she kissed me. Fever all through the night. That's cool. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah. Here, click the other one. Yeah, the, that's that Edgar Winter. Look at that fucking album. You can see his Jeez. nipples, too. I covered his nips up, though. Nice. That that album doesn't have uh, Werewolves of London on it, but it does have a song called Frankenstein. Nice. Or is it Godzilla? No, I think it's Frankenstein is on that one. And then uh, I can't pronounce. I had to Google Translate, and then I looked it up on YouTube what that uh, Japanese 45 is. Yeah. And it's awesome. It's exactly how you think it would sound. Okay. And I went, ah, oh, fucking 99 cents? Or what was that? 4.99? Shit. Don't walk away from me Shit. when I'm talking. Now, I didn't buy anything new because their new records, they had a good selection of, like, popular artists. Yeah. From all genres in their, like, new rock and rap and whatever sections. Yeah. But man, there was not a fucking single record under thirty, and doubles were Cat. going for fifty. No, it's new like, records are thirty. Well, and that's an LA bloat, dude. So what? Fuck off with those prices. Uh, pretty, pretty consistently twenty-five to thirty, depending on the uh, the size of the oh, record. But I, honestly, I'm I? down with that. That's a good price for me for a record. It keeps me from buying a bunch oh, of bullshit. Oh, library, he said. Um, yeah, I think it's a, uh, the other side of the courtyard. You're gonna do that bell puzzle. Remember that? No, I don't remember shit. I'm just running around aimless, like, looking for enemies to respawn. Oh, yeah, that doesn't really happen. This game. Not really, right? Oh, there. fuck. I like that your solution is always to try to run through them. Well, it didn't work. 
Yeah. I turned around. It never worked. You can stun her though. Make some jiggle. Really? Um. I got recently William Shatner has been. His, oh uh, fuck! His Are you album? serious? Yeah. Is that he... the one with like all of the spoken word Beatles songs? You know, like no, that, Lucy that... in the sky with no, diamonds. That, that was a 2004 release with uh, producer Ben Folds of the Ben, oh, ben Folds Five. Five. Yeah. And like it's a full-on, in earnest album with like original songs. You got the vinyl of this? Yeah, cuz I I was thinking <laughs> about something from that. I couldn't remember what, but it made me like think about that album and I and I looked to see if it was online and of course, like I said, new albums, 30 bucks. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll get that album. Um I haven't I haven't spun it yet, but it's like I don't know, there's something about it. It's sort of akin to that metal album that Christopher Lee did. Oh, you know, really? Yeah, yeah, you know, in the same way where it's like... I've just... heard of... Did the vocals on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've never listened to it, though. It's more just him kind of speaking or saying with inflection. It's the same concept. It's same. Oh, that's creepy. His voice is it, yeah, like so Yeah, like, that's the thing. They just have those very specific voices that work well for, for, for what they do. Their timber, everything. Yep, here it is. Here we are. Um, and all that kind of stuff is just... Uh, it just works. And... Um, and yeah, so I got that on vinyl, and that's another one of those things where I got that partially because I like the album, and I also like the concept of putting that on, and then like letting people sort of realize what's going on. Like, is that is that William Shatner? Is I think William there is one Shatner? in the chandelier. There is one right there, yeah. And there's one light lights. my fire. Uh, on the, you can't get it from there, can you? I don't know. Oh, my bad, you kid. I don't know. Could I? There's one down there on top of the bookshelf. I remember. I got that one, or I got that one. I should say. Yeah, but now behind you, it's on top of that bookshelf. But you'll five. see. Five. There's five. See it? Yes. A little baby one. Where's this last one? Oh, there we go. Boom. The five chambers have rung out. This is what D used to look like, right? Yes. But I don't think she was tall. She's tall. Damn. She, you don't... she became larger because of... Look how large that bitch is. Well, this portrait... Look at the size of the chair. The, the portrait. Okay, okay. But I think she became large because of the Metamucite. You think they painted her after... They, like, make me look like I used to, but... She might have, yeah. Or, you know, she's that old. But keep my height. You know, Maybe she wasn't as pale at first, you know. I'm sure Ryan will correct me in the chat soon if I'm wrong. <laughs> the lore in these last two games are just... I mean, the lore in Ori is already so loose. But it's really, yeah, lightly sprinkled in in a couple, uh, like, I think, like... Cutscenes and notes. But more notes than cutscenes, I feel like. Treasure map. That person is alive. Ow. You asshole. King oh, lockpick. Pick up that lockpick. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? What? What? Maybe. Oh, there you go. There we go. What? Let's see. Who else uh, is in the... Discord, Brian. I know yeah. we talked to Doc Ryan. Anyone else on their way to, uh, well, I guess you wouldn't be on your way to the live tour right now. You get there so early, you know. Marker placed. Wouldn't make any sense. First show is until Friday, but is anyone coming out to see us? Call in. Let's hear from you. Oh, I've got the sniper rifle. <laughs> We got Rolla me. Jones. Um, I mean, I saw you call. guys in Brooklyn. Rolla, how's it going? Hello. Uh, been pretty good. I'm glad to see you guys are live. Yes, happy to be live. Uh, happy belated Halloween. Happy Day of the Dead. Brian, we haven't read our informative uh, Day of the Dead oh. Wikipedia article yet. We'll get to that soon. I forgot to look it up. Uh, Rolla Jones. And we didn't ask Ryan what he was 
thankful for on this day of the dead. But how how are uh, how are you? Are you enjoying uh, your holiday? In the middle of a week. Uh, so far, so good. I gotta say, Halloween okay. went well. Um, good to hear. I was working all October doing a pop-up uh, bar, like my first acting gig in three years, playing Jack Skellington. Oh, Ooh, very all cool. Right. All right. Excellent. Yeah, so I was able to catch um, Mega Sixty Four Interactive Hellfest actually, like in between uh, sets of that pop-up, uh, just you decked out in the makeup, watching. You squeezed it in. There you go. Yeah, definitely squeezed it in. Good to hear. Um, just wanted to let you know, I heard, uh, what was it, the single you guys did for the Scum Tapes? Oh, yeah. oh yes, tape? that, that we haven't talked, oh, Ooh, yeah. God, we got to talk about that too, Brian. We do. Yes, and our big single. big shout out to Earth Crisis Actor. Sh big shout out to Earth Crisis Actor, That's yeah. right. We uh, put out our next song as Wiring Solutions. Uh, and again, it was released on the Scum Tapes Bandcamp. You can pay whatever you want. You can. We're pretty high on the track list. I think we're uh, towards the end. Track thirty-one. And it's a banger. This year does not disappoint. Check out our new song, uh, Brian. What's it called? It's oh, what the fuck? It's was that it's called? find your fucking seat and sit the fuck down. <laughs> or F Y F S. A S T F D. <laughs> so what? Uh, but yeah, Wiring Solutions new album. I'm sorry, new single is on uh, the Close Encounters of the Hurt Kind, the Mini Faces of Filth Four mixtape. I'm glad you liked it. I really did like Kristen's bass line too, mm -hmm. dude. I told her when the fucking uh, bass drops in the middle of the breakdown. You know, Sean's telling that story, and it's like. Yeah, uh, I'm like, oh, man. I said, I think I, I think I phrased it. Oh, it makes my heart uh, sing <laughs> when I hear that. And I just know that there's going to be a breakdown coming. There's going to be a pit opening oh, up know. soon. No. Like I said, I was listening to that this morning, to and I was actually talking to her, and I was like, yo, when's when's the whole Sean like hardcore album dropping? When are we getting like the Girl Scout? song like, <laughs> the next track that? yeah what what <laughs> the comes next track next? is him versus the girl scout well you know we got to find the motivation honestly well i i really want a big <laughs> shout out uh caleb a horse yeah. horse caller who who was proactive in sending us the guitar and drums it wouldn't have happened if that first step wasn't taken by him and uh yeah man i mean he turned brian's little idea into reality and and uh it was fucking cool yeah it wouldn't have been possible without him really wouldn't have oh yeah there's this a whole real roof creative segment. little endeavor i gotta say like I, th between that and like what was going on at uh mega 64 20 this year it's like the year of sean oh, it, is. it is the year of sean sean's shining bright man just like your your favorite podcast host and your most lovable dad He's also got his record club on the Patreon. Yeah, shouts out to the Patreon. Oh, absolutely. Been on a couple you, of those. You've been crushing been on a couple it with those. record club. Yep. He, um, He's the fact that he, he even got Dick Bodie on there too. Like everybody he wants did. more Dick. So yeah, oh, that's yeah, a huge get. Huge get. Oh, I'm getting my yeah, blood so. sucked. <laughs> so I'm yeah. glad. I'm Funny glad you like. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm glad you like the horse, uh, the the horse horse collar song, the hardcore song, I should say. Uh, I'm curious. Did you hear our last? Uh, what was it? Uh, You'll be back. The last wiring solution song. It was very different. No, now, I I have not heard that. I'm gonna okay. have to. I'm gonna have to seek that out. <clears throat> it's on last year's upload. If you're there on their Bandcamp, the Mini Faces of Phil Three. Uh, what was that one titled, Brian? That one was called A Pantheon of Worldwide Ruin. That's right. Uh, you can get that. We're a little higher on the track list that year. I think yes. we're like up there at three or four. Uh, yeah, that was a little more down tempo. Track, track nine. There you are. Um, now, here we are with the second one, and it's just basically like a parody of a 90s hardcore song. Don't See, that was the thing. It wasn't even What's a parody. next? What's the third one? It really isn't. It just it is that, that, that was my main goal in my approach. I go parody, but yeah. I went parody in effect of like, well, what? it's just the keys to writing a good hardcore song. 
Like the things that you could parody. You I put just everything the, in. Yeah, like I threw the kitchen sink at it. Yes, I was like, it has to have a it's, movie quote to start. Yes. It has to have. It's definitely a loving. Uh, you want to call it an homage? <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. Like, it's, a, it's, 90s, it's more like of a tribute than a thousands hardcore song. Yeah, I'd I, say it's more of a tribute than a parody. Uh, okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. I really do because absolutely. I, like that's the thing. I, I showed it to my friend uh, Artur, who does not listen to hardcore. Oh yeah, doesn't understand hardcore. And I really, I don't listen to that much hardcore, but I know what a hardcore song needs to sound like, just like Garrett. And I felt like it's our first death of the day. It's That's bad. the first death. We always Period. get one. That might be the first death of the whole run. No, last week. Everybody we gets one. one. Did we die? Yeah, we got one. Okay. Well, that was the coolest thing about this is that my approach was I'm not going to try to be funny about this. The subject matter is what's funny, but the emotion. You got to take that emotion to the, 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 the fucking real level. Well, that's what it was. It was the same fucking emotion that you hear in, in a hardcore Sean's song. Voice, yeah. yeah, that's that's why I said it. I'm like, the way Sean yells bro and you sit down sound like the type of things that you would put in a hardcore song as drops so that people knew the emotion, the, the fucking raw guttural anger. I fucking and hate these things. Just because it happened to be about his daughter being blocked by some dude trying to find his seat. That's what makes it even better because it's the same sort of rage. It's it's this injustice that you kind of can't solve, but if you could, you you would get it out. And Sean got it out in, in one aspect. Or yeah, another. Um, he out. actually mentioned, Earth Crisis actor, uh, he mentioned this morning that like Sean just has that voice. The way he yells, he's got like the hardcore vocal scream. Down. Yeah. Yeah. You don't give a fuck about this dance, bro! I yeah, mean, it's the, he's got it. He he's definitely got, does. I mean, that's because all it takes to be he's in a hardcore band is to be angry and white. And, like, I mean, that's all <laughs> Sean was. Hey, come on. There's, uh, you know, HR was, uh, he was angry, but he wasn't white. Yeah. HR yeah. puffing stuff is gonna crack down, you know? No, yeah. I, no, I mean, um, Bad Brains is, I, in my opinion, they are a class of their own when it comes to the type originated. of Originated. Yeah, I mean, they did reggae, they did punk, they did, they, they were just a band to me, but like. It's so far removed from what, like, 90s hardcore was, yeah. It's it's, it's funny, because I was very into, like, all those early hardcore bands yeah. that kind of, like, inspired and shaped that scene. So it was yes. like, oh, yeah. My, my favorite. Gorilla Biscuits and. Brian, I feel like I'm in the same camp with you where I don't really listen to a lot of hardcore, but I have friends who are in bands. Like, my friend sure. Adam, was recent. his band was recently signed this year, a band called God's Eyes. So I'm, I'm like, exposed to it a lot. And I It's got a whole third wave. So There's, like, a big resurgence right now. Yeah. And imagine, oh, yeah, big time. Imagine someday some fucking band of, of kids who are half our age stumble across this fucking song this gem this hidden and, gem and they decide to cover it you know like that like well here we are adding to the revival this third wave yeah. of, of hardcore we're adding inadvertently yeah you're, youth crew you're shit, contributing you know? to it <laughs> you know a Absolutely. very a very fucking like it's dad crew shit valid <laughs> approach to shit yeah dad core we're, we're bringing this dad <laughs> hardcore i don't fucking care if we did that but the main thing for me the little Piss the resistance are my like the like, piss to resist the horse. You sit down. I love that. The uh, we the, wish Brian keep making fun of the French. The thing I really loved was the in parentheses secondary title that has to be abbreviated. Do you like how they got it right? That's my joke. Okay, That's the one part of the song you told me specifically. Brian's talking about in quote. F Y F S A S F T F D. That to me was the one thing that you would find hardcore songs, they would have a title, and then they would have a secondary title that's all capital letters, and it's the full, like, it's a paragraph of fucking shit. Yeah, dog. It's a whole s sentence of prose and a fucking uh, soliloquy of some fucking extra shit. So that's why I'm like, we <laughs> yeah, have to call that, it Sit dude. the Fuck Down. That's the clear title. But then it has to Nailed be called it. in the quotation, in the parentheses. Find your fucking seat. Find your fucking seat and, and sit, sit the, the fuck, fuck down, down, but only in, uh, in the first letter representation. Yeah. And uh, and so, yeah, again, the it was really fun to, to work with Garrett on, on making the lyrics, uh, the trading off back and forth. You had a lot uh, to lend on that writing session. I think more so than, than me. You... You really spearheaded this song. I guess, yeah. I guess you were, really you were like determined 
well, from the beginning, the guitar, like, man, look, and... man, we have to do this. And I'm like, fuck yeah, we do. Once but... we had the guitar, it was like a no-brainer. The yeah. hardest part about the first song we wrote is that we're not composers. We we can kind of play instruments, <sighs> but we're just dicking around with yeah, this, we're noodling. Uh, paddle, like, and that's how you'll be back. Kind of came from yeah. us noodling out this kind of, you know, throwing throwing some 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 down tempo vibes out right? with what's on the midi wall and, back here. And we do honestly yeah, at this I point. Would... We, I love not having to add anything to this. Yeah. Just Kristen and, and uh, Caleb. Well, I love that I, I, I told my friend Artur about it, and, and he was saying the same thing I said about it, which was my favorite thing about how we brought this all together, Rolla, was the collaboration effort. Of yeah, that's... It. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that to, like, you know, be a uh, PR That's how I'm getting shit done effort. now. But that's how shit gets done, everyone. Like, yeah. if you have an oh, idea... Oh, absolutely. I was, I was getting the warm and fuzzies, actually, when I heard this. Because, like, maybe a few days ago, on, Ooh. like, the, it was the day before my birthday on Sunday, uh, my best friend and I were actually, I think, watching... It was either then or me, watching, like, the old concert footage of uh, S Slow Draw doing wow. Kid Cuisine. Wow. So to now see you guys put this track out, like, it was the perfect, like bookend wow that slow draw footage from like 2009 or something yeah dude which by the way the first video back, that's yeah. the first videos on my uh xg hunter x youtube channel isn't the homie trying to get rid of a bunch of his stock of that album i don't know is it still on sale i that was I, so long ago I those think vinyls they were saying they, i i saw something in the reddit maybe go to the meg 64 reddit that was years ago is this happening again no though? no like this week somebody, oh good the, the guy who i think has the stock of the he's slow still, draw. He, yeah, he's, is let's advertise. And trying to get the. <clears throat> oh, let's advertise this for him then. Yeah, check yeah. our Reddit. Um, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Homie was nice enough when the Kickstarter didn't go. He's like, fuck it, I'm printing a run of these. Okay. Yeah. They are them. slow draw the hungry Eskimo vinyls. Let me see if I can find it. With Kid Cuisine on here and the songs that appeared in versions. Uh, was that three of Mega 64? I think the website was written here, shop.vilecarton.com. Yeah, that's it. So he's still got some up. left, so get them while they're hot. Brian's going to drop it in there. Uh, they're discounted to $13. Dude, if you ever wanted to hear uh, that shit through your hi-fi system. It's pretty good. Actually, it's mixed way better than the fucking album. On he actually CD. went in and did a little, he did a little magic before he, you know, he mastered that fucking thing and yeah, that, it came out great. That was something you and I had talked about ages ago where you're like, my biggest complaint about the Slow Draw album is that I would have mixed it so differently. Well, I didn't even know, I, I didn't have any I wasn't even given the opportunity to mix it right. back when it was recorded in 2005 five, five? Five maybe. I didn't yeah. know anything about the recording at all at that point, and one of the guys in the band did. So yeah, I just wish I I had any knowledge or <laughs> had an opportunity to help. Right. Um, that CD is so low end. If you oh play it in your truck, it's it like sounds so oh my bad. truck. It's like super bassy. Those MP3s that we hosted on Mega 64's site broke the site. I do feel like yeah, when Max Gallardi's Ponies Not Move Jeez. came out. Any link to it? Uh, yeah, I do well, believe that vinyl is probably the best that these songs ever are going to yeah. be Yeah, and heard. it's on a 140-gram fucking transparent blue vinyl. It's the fucking... And the bonus track that wasn't on the CD, the That's last right. thing recorded, No Pajamas for You. Right after that, boom, Jess Jess Revolution. I remember that. Jesse wrote mm. the guitar parts, and there's I don't think that's there's any vocals on it. It's that. got Puddin' Bass in Or Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. I mean, the only other way to get put in basin is off of Mega the, 64 soundtrack. Yeah, which who knows if available chop. No, that's on double LP vinyl right now on Mega 64. Yeah, who knows how double LP with digital download holidays. included during the holidays What's when playing? it's gift giving season. People are, are the guy talked gift giving season. Yeah, oh, people that are going to buy color. people are going to buy the Mega 64 vinyl as gifts for their families. I mean, again, shop.mega64.com. You go there, you get some fucking holiday shit. Black Friday's fucking coming up, everyone. That's coming up very soon. You know, yeah. like... Did I do everything out you gotta, here? You gotta put your ear to the ground. But yeah, Rolla Jones, I'm glad that you got to talk to Kristen to get her perspective of putting this all together. Because really, again, like that, for me, we... I made a joke 
a, a dude oh, who yeah. was really generous with their time, Caleb Horace Horsecaller, sat down oh, and yeah. maybe for him farted out a fucking riff in drums. <laughs> or maybe he spent all day on it. But, like, that inspiration led to our inspiration, led to Kristen's inspiration. She's been trying to work on shit with us dude, for ages. Dude, she borrowed a bass to get that done, for too. ages. And we were able to get them on to play with us. Uh, Everyone had to jump through their, too. their hoops. There's a gem. Yeah, if you look up from where you are, I think it's like on the wall. You see a little shimmer. I think it's on the No, yeah, it's, it's yeah, wonderful how right collaboration, there. like just building off of one another, how you just get something so insanely great. Oh. Out of it. You have to shoot it while you're coming down. I oh, think. you do? Yeah, I don't think you can hit it right like this. You might be able with the... Shotgun yeah. spread? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can get over here. Oh, yep, there you go. But yeah, right, and, and Rolla, that's, that's again, like, we also already have another. We haven't even touched it yet, but we have a whole Oh, yeah, Horus has more. Track from Horus. That's, that's like a synth fucking uh, emo song. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Book to your right. You won't live long. Which way? Oh, uh, you, you just go back to the main hall because you're putting the last head in. Hey, oh, yeah. Now right. you can run around her. Oh, there's something on the... Yeah. Whoa. But yeah, dude, it's yeah, uh, it's it's uh, it, it the the future is limitless. Yes, you can kind of like re kind of uh, ignite uh, maybe lost focus because like, dude, we made that song a year ago. We haven't worked on music since. Nope. Then it took someone else kind of lighting a fire under our ass. In this Go case, Caleb. And, uh, you know, I, I'm so happy with what we got. Yeah, I, this is genuinely one of the best, most, like, I've been this excited about something that I've worked on, uh, like, I mean. In quite some time. Yeah, I was really, I was happy with our, uh, with our first song. It was cool to, like. We're going to play it for a commercial yeah. here in a sec. It was, it was, it was great for us to sit down and, like, actually say we we're going to do something and then do it, you know, so that, that was, that was cool, but, like. I don't know. This one was just more fun somehow. Maybe because we had already gotten it out of our system. But I think the other part was working with, with other people to write the music. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, this song, even though we started writing the lyrics, not completely in earnest. It was like a jokey kind of subject. Yeah. But what came out is kind of a serious song. But with the hardcore song, I feel like it's funny to me the whole time we're making yes it never gets serious this is oh it's absolutely hysterical but it also holds up on its own merit <laughs> that's like, what I, like, i'm glad to hear no, that no, but this no one doubt, actually right? has like some vulnerability to it i think so I'm, si I'm, I'm yeah you know i'm belting it out there yeah oh well, i mean we're both i, I can again. growl but this no i'm talking about on our, our first song yeah, it's no, like there's a lot more vulnerability out there with uh you'll be back yeah, yeah, you definitely, uh, you definitely try to. We belted it, we belted it out for this, uh, for the song on your parts, and I really, I like how, how you took it. That contrast, yeah. But yeah. I'm curious, yeah, what's the next thing gonna be like, too? I know, right? And I, I've told originally, it's so awesome that Kristen did the bass, but I originally have wanted to use her for background vocals. Uh, be, once I found out that she had uh, experience singing like in yeah. bands and stuff. I was really excited to get her on uh, the mic for something that we do. I figured that would happen next. Yes. But it will happen. Well, I'm looking forward to it either way, and I'm definitely going to check out that first song. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, yeah we're, well, just yeah. want to say, also, the the next leg, the final leg of the um, Fair, Farewell Tour. Yes. Just from my personal experience, seeing you guys at the Bell House. Like, That's right. They don't know what they're in for. It's going to be a great time. Oh, I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah, the Bell House was. Oh, like... it was it was one of the highlights of my summer. I gotta say, like, Fuck yeah. you guys uh, with your live streams during COVID, as well as just the regular podcast and Mega Sixty Quarantine when it was going on, like you really you did something I think so transformative that. Like, oh, really, that's awesome you really to hear. Helped everybody pull through that. Honestly, I've been meaning to thank you guys, and I have probably have sent individual messages in the past to you. Um, in regards to it, but I really got to say, like, it, it was wonderful seeing you guys in, in person. Uh, made a good friend, uh, dude by the name of Metz Laser. He's definitely met you guys. Shouts out. He goes by online. Yep, 
And, um, like, anyone who hasn't managed to grab their ticks yet for this tour, yeah. absolutely do so when it comes to your town. Because it's, it's everything that you expect from the boys in person in just a beautiful, compact little package. It's live, it's intense, it's in your face. I love to you get hear to it. see a, a live DJ disc jockey set. So, I mean, that's, yeah, that's I all love I really these songs we were just keep talking about. Doing the, keep doing the work. That's going to be the best part. Well, thank you very much, Roller Joe. You might even hear a, yeah, yeah. yeah. You might, who knows, you know. That's a stunning <laughs> and a great uh, little commercial from uh, Rolla Jones, who was there on our first leg. Yeah, you got to come out and check it out it is uh, if you're a mega 64 fan a really fucking cool time it's a best of all things mega 64 thanks rolla it's good yeah. good to hear from you no man. doubt my boys Take absolutely care. you slay this dragon i'm gonna go have Peace. a good night yeah. happy halloweeny hell yeah brian yeah. i'm gonna slay the dragon Demetresk is up can we read though before i forget again our day of the dead wikipedia entry yes well, basically, it's uh, we've got it here. It's, yes, it's, please it's inform us. It's a traditional us. holiday that celebrated the first through the second of November, um, and it's uh, I guess it depends. But anyways, around that time, this time of the year, and uh, I think it's it's really just a very solemn holiday. You remember the the dead and those who brought you here. It's kind of like a. Uh, it's like yeah. It's not really, just one day too. It's like it's, a, it's like the week, first basically. and the second. Yeah, maybe even through the sixth. It says in some places, yeah. especially celebrated by people of Mexican heritage, although related to the simultaneous Christian remembrance or Hallow Tide. I've never heard of Hallow Tide, but fucking say no more, baby. All Hallow Tide. All Hollows Tide. Oh, I'm Saint telling you. Eve, Halloween. This light a Saint candle. Jeff. Basically. Set a photo out of a loved one who's passed. You'll, you leave a little offering, you yeah. know, some food, some drink. Pay homage. That's how I'm celebrating when I get home tonight. That's right. Dude. Last night, Rocky Horror. Tonight, right. little, a little remembrance. A little thought of the dead. This one goes out to the remembrance in Matthew Perry. Oh, yeah. We lost Matthew. Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. No, don't go into a bathtub drunk. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Wasn't he like, uh... Please don't. And oh, if you do, shit. don't do it when you're tired. Because if you drown in a It's so warm and it's so hot. Tub. Who else? Mariah? No, not Mariah Carey. Uh, no, Whitney Houston? Don't. Whitney Houston got in the tub, right? And then her daughter did too? Were they both in the ground in the tubs? Uh, yeah. There's this drug I done. Yeah, well, we don't know this toxicology report on Mr. Perry yet either. Not to say that I assume anything. He was clean. I know. He went through a very public battle uh, with sobriety yes. over the years. But I don't know. People well, relapse, dude. That's part. <laughs> with that's, substance abuse. That's part of it. Uh, it wasn't a battle with a hot tub? It's not Sorry. a battle Sorry. with <laughs> sobriety. Oh, you're right. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't I didn't even catch I'm that. I'm a fight against Jesus sobriety. Christ. I swear to God, I'm going to stay fucking drunk and Jesus, fucking Jesus popped Christ. up on pills Jesus until Christ it kills the, me. Jesus my pancreas and my liver and are going to be an acidosis. And, 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 he's doing and I'm going to be fucking for... jaundice when you see me. <laughs> jaundice. Brian, You're looking like a Six Sense character. Looking like, uh, looking like you want to play with my dad's gun? Yeah. I see dead people. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ Bang. is the one. Hey, weren't you asking me something about God earlier? Well, yeah. What was that? Before the show, I was wondering, you know, like, you know, if Jesus ever got dicked down. So I was, do you think Jesus, like, what's his riz like? Oh, are you asking me? Oh. Yeah, Jesus has mad riz. You think so? Yeah, he has risen from the grave. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ <laughs> is the one. God and he's damn doing it. And boys and girls. Boys, bo 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 boys and girls. The 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 Jesus, Jesus Christ. Boys Jesus and girls. Jesus Jesus from the Christ. grave oh, so hard. He gives us new life. Jesus Christ. He riz so hard gives from the grave, bro. Three days he's later. That's why, we risen. that's why we celebrate Easter. That's right. He is risen. That's what they always say. He's risen. Jesus is risen. 
Jesus, Jesus Christ. He's risen, Fuck. dog. That's so stupid. That is pretty dumb. Ah, ah. It's pretty fucking dumb, y'all. Oh, I love uh, it. Hey. Stocks are up. He hey, is risen. I gotta kill this little... Somebody uh, gift me a sub. I wanna be able to do the stocks are up. I don't know. Yeah, give Brian a Mega 64 sub, please. Please. We do have, you know, the... Um, the good things on where you can donate bits and you can hype us up or whatever you do on Twitch. Oh, and we should remember to raid our friends when we leave. I haven't done that in like six months. Oh. And I always fucking forget. I'm like, oh yeah, I should be nice and raid. I think the problem is that nobody's online. Ah, that's our. So that's I'll just our send fun. you to my channel. We'll look. Th well, no, we'll we, we'll look like Serb maybe all online. Yeah, uh, maybe they'll be online. Uh -oh. Frank or oh, Rocco here. What's he up? He is risen. What's up? Good mic I, I'm like in the middle of a fucking boss fight, kind of. But. What? Is that a. Oh, you don't have a mic? What is that? Is that oh. Neo? I just see two hands and a head floating. It's Morpheus. Take the red pill. You know, Neo, sooner or later you're going to have to realize the difference between knowing the path and walking it. <laughs> It's my impression of Morpheus. Rocker, you don't like that? Uh, Resident, Evil, Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil 8, as some people call it. Yeah. We're playing. Okay. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I like what? I don't know. I Where'd he go? He left. I got my ass handed to me, though, by uh, Lady D. Just said, oh! Shit! Stocks are up. Thank you, Ranty. Thank you, Ranty. Stocks are up. Uh, tickle my Pikachu. Sometimes he's online streaming. We could raid him. We could, you know, like I said, Frank. Yeah, if no one's online, Brian. Yeah, we'll send him to you. You gotta fucking come over my Twitch channel. I'm gonna archive. Every Tuesday, every Wednesday, and Thursday nights. Got you, girl. Come on by. It's called KLBR. It's a video game radio show. What is that? Come on by. Come and find out. You'll you wanna see. you wanna find out what video game radio's all about? That's right. You know he's doing it. God, he's doing it. He's doing a new thing. Always doing it. Brian's always doing a new thing. Always Look at that. Doing a brand new thing. I'm playing songs and doing things. I just beat Mario one today. You I'm beat it today? What? Hey, what do you think? I love it. Yeah. Is love it? it. Uh, is a nice return to Mario form? Yeah. It's uh. It's even better. Like they made. They, they did shit to it you wouldn't have expected. Them I'm to so do. dumb. I keep buying shit at full price and I'm like never. Maybe I'll play it on tour though. That probably yeah. makes sense. I'll bring the Switch with me. I'll use it in the van. There's there's more days off on this leg of the tour than the first leg we had. So yeah, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. It's uh it's a game you can check out later when it's forty bucks or something like that on a I mean they never go down. Target. Yeah, they, Black they Friday, do. that's like usually when I would buy my full price games is like Black Friday at Target, they have the two full price buy would get one free or whatever. It'd be like something like that. Where I'd use them all on first party Nintendo games yep. and never get a discount. Whoa! Hold on. What did you just do? Whoa! You don't have room. Whoa, yeah, I see that. But uh, your health's good. We do that right there. Oh, there then go. we do that right there. Have a baby baby baby. Um Wait, what? You don't have the food. Don't have but I just did that and it worked. Wait, no. no. You need to move it over and you did that. Yeah, no, it's still on the ground. I don't know. Whatever. Let's kill this hoe. Oh, shit. Stupid. Um, no, he has room for it. Either way, you're towards the end. Yeah, we're going to pick it up here in a second after I reload this. Re re reload. Reload. Re re reload. I don't know. Um, reload. Oh, God. oh shit! She's turning into a dry. You need some fucking. You need some Jergens, lady. You're not looking too good. Okay, now. Nice. nice. Under the wing, right in the fucking head. Is that Wait. it? 
That's gotta be. Cutscene, baby. From such a beautiful creature to such a monstrous final form. Apparently. Very fitting. I mean, William Birkin was quite a looker if you think about it, bro. Right? Yeah, and apparently. In his time, William Birkin was voted most masculine of class of uh, 87, Raccoon High School. Oh, was he? Yeah. Did the files say that? My files, my head can oh. files. Apparently, this is a form that they always have had, but they don't. Like just, yeah, because at the beginning she said only besides Mother Miranda, no one else has seen me in this form. Implying that oh, yeah. you're like... She flies around like a dragon before. She, I don't know. It's like, well, where's Ryan to tell us if she like can contain it or whatever the fuck? I can't stop it. Well, she, you you're suffer so much cursed. damage. Yeah, you just like uh, revert. Are there any goodies? It's red. That Goody means bag. that means there's something goody down here. So. Um, it's probably a thing blinking. Could be. Could this be kiss, anything up her skirt. Kiss. Can't really see up her skirt. Nothing good. Yeah. No jewels, no gems. He's walking very gingerly around her body. Yeah. Oh, this is the item. Oh, yeah. It's your daughter. Oh, it's my first piece of rose. So we're done with the first boss. Two streams in. We should say, because of the Mega64 like farewell space. tour... I'm not going to be able to stream on next Wednesday and the Wednesday after that. Perfect. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, next Wednesday. That's right. Shit. So uh, in lieu of that, there will be content uh, coming out on the Archives channel. And it's long-form stuff like the PPS, too. So mm -hmm. hopefully uh, you get to enjoy that. Uh, but sadly, yeah, you're going to have to wait two weeks till we get back to finishing this. And then Brian... You know, we're losing those two weeks, so it is going to be kind of a mad dash to get to this before the end of the new year. I don't know. You're making pretty good headway already. First boss is done, right? I feel like the first boss has the longest section of true, the game. True, true. Um, I think they really wanted people to think that the I whole game yet. took place in the castle. Uh, this is, You need the crank for this. Not yet. And, uh, and they didn't really want to let on that there was all the other... Um, you know, NBC Dark Mo Dark Universe monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until you got the game, um, and I and I actually kind of appreciated I like that because that. yeah, like I didn't expect there to be so much to this game, and ended up being one of the most involved Resident Evils, um, which I, I still is probably one of my favorite. This is where we came out, or killed that hoe. Yeah, it's probably my favorite in the series. This is your favorite in it's the up series. There. It's in my top five. Yeah, we said. Uh, uh, I mean, honestly, the uh, in terms of what I want, uh, I mean, like, for me, it's I want the first Wesker, one. I want, you know, I want true Resident Evil umbrella BOW yeah. shit. For and me, it's Resident Evil One remake. Yes, uh, on the GameCube. Yeah, that that's is a good like one. that's a really good one. But to it, say. but it, but it goes back and forth between. It's so hard to choose between that and actually, you know. The first, the yeah. 1997 Resident Evil I can Dual Shock. <laughs> For me, I think I can very easily say Do I, I got Resident knife. Evil 4 Remake is my favorite Resident Evil game now, period. Then this. Period. Then Resident Evil 2 Remake. Period. Then probably Resident Evil 2, like original. Okay. Yeah, that's a classic. A lot of people throw that at the number either four, Resident Evil Two. Um, no one says zero. Zero is no one's favorite. No, zero, zero is it's uh, it's the first game in what I called the gimmick bullshit series of well, Resident three Evil was kind of like here's a gimmick. It was less gimmicky because you were at least still controlling one character, but it was more like, oh, should I go left or should I right? Uh, go right. Oh, should, should I, I left or should I right now? <laughs> uh, if I left, there will be trouble. Oh, but if you right, it, it will, will be, be double. double. Um, but remake, Resident Evil 1 Ooh. remake Ooh. is still like, like god tier level game like it still looks incredible yeah. it's got that fixed camera it looks better than code veronica could ever hope to look and like um yeah it's just a solid game um but yeah i feel like i've really oh fuck here's kid. where we're really running out of space now 
Okay, but I could eat or I could take that. Yeah, you could heal. You could also discard something you don't need. Because you sell the fish for money, so unless you're trying to do some shit. Trying to do some shit. Let's see. Can I organize this better? No, I can fit one more two. I would leave them here. Go find yeah, the Duke. Yeah, go find the Duke. And uh, upgrade your... Is that it? I just drop down in here and go down this way. Yeah, because this you come through and then Mother Miranda gives you the four wing. And we key. find a jet ski. Oh, no, wait. This is the way I came in. Yeah, you come back through this area, right? Nah, you pro I mean, I can come back and get these fish for real. Yeah, because I can make it down there. Boom. Uh oh. Mother Miranda. Where's Miranda? Read him as Miranda writes. I oh, do. I, be quiet. I do think it would be cool if future Resident Evil games stuck to cutscenes in first person. Per first person. I think that's. I think it's pretty fun, pretty immersive. I don't know if it would fit outside of a first person game. I mean, it does in this actually. Yeah, that's why I kind of feel like it's not too, it doesn't weigh too heavily against uh, the presentation or the story. But honestly, I could, it, that's like a, that's like a, I oh, do without it. to, you know, um, to have as an option. Hey, here's what they could do. You know, they focused on first person for these last two games, and then they've slowly added third person in. Yeah. So now all the remakes are just like the third person remakes of, you know, their old counterparts. Yeah. Of the, four and the transition should okay be uh, DLC will add first person in. It would be like we're playing this later, a year after it was released, we got the third person mode we're using. It'd be cool if Resident yeah. Evil Nine was third person, and then a year later they're like, all right, first person <laughs> DLC. It'd be cool. And then a year after that VR DLC. I would like if they put in. Um, wait, a second. wait there's familiar. four bosses. Bullshit. Hey, hey, wait. What would you like if they put a? Uh, t um, fixed camera. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, some of those old horror games like Them and Us or like mm -hmm. Signalis or whatever, uh, what have you. Yeah. They have options for like, you want over the shoulder or do you want fixed camera? Oh. I know Them and Us has that because it's kind of, it's based off Resident Evil kind of. Them and Us. I have to uh, it's been on my that. Steam wish list forever. It's another one like Tortured or what was that? Tormented Souls? Mm. That one was fixed camera, though. It's like an homage. Yeah, with no that choice. Was great. That was great. That was one of my favorite games of the year. That's how I would play them and us, too, is that in the fixed camera. So mode. happy they're doing a sequel to uh, Tormented Souls. Oh, I didn't know that. It's good to yep. hear. Maybe yep. you told me that before. but uh, Somebody told us on the show, like, maybe two months ago, three months ago. Damn. We've hit it all, Brian. We talked about the new song. Yeah. We talked all about the tour what I'll be up to for the next two weeks. You're going to be filling in while I'm not here. KLBR will certainly be on the air. I will be on the air. Be sure to check that out. I might even do, I don't know. I, I, I always wonder if I should on Wednesdays wait to do like a later stream and then fill in the slot or if I should take the time off and enjoy it. Um, you know, just to keep you uh, Play it by ear. Yeah, that, that's kind of normally what I end up doing. Four um, kings, the four kings of the courtyard. Wednesday during the day is kind of a, a very quiet time to be on the air. Oh my God, guys! It's the umbrella logo. Whatever. Not here. That was it. Dylan uh, tagged me and Garrett in a evil dude tweet about tormented souls, and that's how we found out about. That's how we the found sequel. out about the yeah. game. I'm excited, man. That was a fun game. That was. The perfect amount of, uh, like, again, honestly. Survival horror, like we talked about. Tormented Souls is the exact same approach that I think we took in terms of tributing uh, a genre. Like, it's kind of goofy and silly, but yeah. that's part of. Oh, it fits right in line. Yeah, that's part of it. Like, you know, if you're going to get mad about, like, the geopolitical state of our fucking world and economy in a hardcore song, then you sure as fuck can get mad about not seeing your daughter dance. Like, there's no difference in that amount of rage and, like, you know, uh, storytelling. So, again, I remember when you brought the demo in, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, is this, is this for real, or is this parroting, or is this... It's like, no, the best way to capture it is to do it, not as a joke, but to do it because it's part of the fucking way that the story is for told. For real, yeah. Yeah. 
Like, it means something, but it doesn't have to be, like, the, you know, the pinnacle of, of rage ex exposition and exploration. I, uh, I think I remember now coming back through this place, but I mainly recognize it from playing Mercenaries. It's like... Yeah, you come through this area a lot. Yeah. Oh, the Whoa. Mercenaries in this game is so fucking difficult. Yeah, that's what, like, Ryan was saying when you get those superpower moves, like, you kind of... The only way to get triple S on certain things is to, like, kind of cheat the system. Yeah, I think ultimately I didn't do them because I didn't care about mercenaries in this game, but I'll do them in... I wanted uh, to unlock certain things, and I it's just, like, it was just fun. We're refreshing our camera. Pray we yeah. don't go down. Oh, we didn't go down, bro. Yay. Did you pray? No, I don't I pray, pray. I, I pray. can't remember the last time I actually prayed. But I, I have, need I've a witness. You need a key from something else. I don't think you have it here. It's locked. You uh, get it from Ingrid's... And, no, not Ingrid, but somebody's necklace or something. Oh, I have that. Oh, I, f I sold it. No, it's it's not that. You get you get a different necklace. It's not Ingrid's. It's the woman okay. whose house that you go to at the beginning. Benevetto. Oh, no, no, wait. no, oh, no I the, don't know. The, the woman Isabella. Who yeah, that's her husband behind you or some shit. Isabella's husband did not make it. Oh, who's that making fun of? Is that still French? I don't know. That sounds oui. kind of Italian. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Because Italians are I mean, you're, you're already gotten heat for talking shit on Italians. They're tough. I know, dude. Rocco just really cracks down. Chicken dance. He's so mean when he wants to be. You guys haven't seen that side of him. He hurts me, there guys. Be uh, it's, it, it really painfully, it like physically painfully hurts me. I was there that day. That where, when I was struck? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to get into it. I'm not sure. When you were talking, talking reckless, pockets incorrect. You have your daughter. <laughs> um... Alan Wake 2 has been what I've been playing off stream and in my spare yes, time. Yes, that, that game looks like the shit for horror fans. You're gonna man. you're gonna love it. I'm gonna like the way I look. If you uh if you play it, I you're really gonna it. enjoy that. Head? Game. So no head? Well, I mean there it is, but it's your daughter's. <laughs> Wait, what what are you saying? It's like an old boy situation. You get head, but it's your daughter's. Is my daughter in there? It's the father. What? What are you saying, Brian? Inside the flat, her essence? Her pretty head. Who could even do this? Hey, take it easy. Are you insane? Father. Oh. Take it easy. I can't believe my daughter's in there. The man who lives there. Fucking. Oh. And continue. God. All right. Get to the damn point. Get to the damn point, Duke. I don't got oh, all yeah, day. Duke. Have I finished two cups of coffee? Yes, yeah. you have. Well, so have I, but I did my first one before we went live. There's only one. Well, I'm halfway done with the second one. You must to see my daughter's dissociative. Right. Muscle-headed tattoo fuck is standing in my way. <laughs> Why are we singing our opposite parts? Because I like to do your parts and you like to do mine. I know. It's weird. <laughs> I, uh... God, I... I don't know why that mini me is so fucking frightening. It's, uh, Does anyone want to spin the wheel? Call in. Let no. us know. Mini me is gonna block us, man. Vern, rest in peace. I gotta throw a little, maybe pour a little vodka in a shot glass there and do a go. little. What the fuck? I just bumped the bumper. I seriously bumped it on the desk and wasted that. It's uh, R1 on PlayStation. Fuck you. This isn't Xbox. On PlayStation. Why'd I do that? Oh god. I don't know. Damn it. It's fun watching you waste health in this game. Stop it. it happens I do so it fucking every much. year. So much it's a tradition. In so eight, you just happy. use so much health when you don't mean to. It's a tradition. It's so shit. Sad Is that much. Miranda? Yeah. I'm, I'm having flashbacks of Mother Miranda. She was posing as my wife. I fucked her. Do you think you did? Yeah, Ethan totally fucked Miranda. And she was like, oh, give me that fucking Metamucite dick. I'm telling you, bro. She's you like, think? yeah, she knew he was a sponge man. She knew he was a mold boy. Could he nut then? Like, was he? I don't want to get into that. Ryan, dude. Can, I don't want to get into that. Nut? That's for 
save some things. Gentlemen do not, not discuss. <laughs> Gentlemen do not discuss certain things. Can I not go in here? You don't have the extension yet. You don't have the baby fetus extension on that key? That's the way we came in. Here's a duke. We opened up that route. This route's still locked, too, I think. Yeah. Come back later. Four wingers. Winger, my favorite band. <laughs> Here we go. Is that anybody's favorite band? Uh, didn't. What was oh, Butthead's hey, neighbor? Buy a, buy a fucking expansion shirt. Stock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead had that neighbor that had the winger items. shirt on, right? Oh. Dale? Or what was that guy's name? I don't remember. That's why they made fun of him. Winger. I oh. think you can sell some stuff, right? Chest. Sorry. Cheek rest. Chest reek. <laughs> sell some stuff. Fuck yeah, I can sell some stuff, Brian. Let's see what the Duke's purse has for me. Two of these, one of these, two of these, sir. I'll take one. Uh, would you be interested in a thick badonka donk de metresque uh, crystal? Mm, I'll buy it at How about a high an price. A a jour ring? Will you buy that at a high price? Oh, you can sell him the fish. Give him that fish. I don't want to eat it, and that's it. That's all we're doing for now. Oh, Lady Dimitrescu, beautiful even in death. That waistline. Yeah, that yes. waistline is something else, baby. He knows it. Oh. Werewolves of London. I was singing the song. Oh. Be nasty. He knows it. He knows what's up. Okay, I've got more uh, areas to upgrade. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Lemmy all the way. We're not even going to get the 1911. I'm going to put all money into the base weapons. These three. How about this that? Does that sound like a plan? We're just looking to beat the game. Moment. The 1911 is nice, though, because you can turn that auto fire on. Oh, yeah. That thing was sweet. Mm -hmm. This is all an investment. Uh, keep the lockpick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Then. Day after day. Okay, Ethan. Now's your time. You only have 20 rounds, though. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted that. Fuck. Well, you probably have enough to craft more ammo. Say what? One for the road. Oh, this is where you can get like the bluebird thing over in the area. Is get that uh, is that like a bonus? Yeah, it's one of the like little bonus side mission. I always hate it in mercenaries when they give you the bluebird enemy and it counts towards the like thirty that you have or whatever. Uh, let's just use one. I don't know what's in here, but let's find out. Shotgun shells. I would hope so. That's actually useful. Fuck yes. Ryan, nailing it tonight. I played this game a lot. <laughs> I played it like eight times. Mother Miranda. It's it. That's why I would say like it's. So we cleared that. That's still red. Oh, Iron Gate key. Yeah, it should be open now. This way or is it? No, it's still locked through this side. You can like go up and around. Gotta go and up and around. It. Yeah, I loved doing everything in this game though. Even on my first playthrough, I would just feverishly go back and forth on the map and clear the red areas like to blue. Let's see, anything up here? Where are we actually meant to go now? I don't remember. Uh, Probably these two iron gate keys. You could go through the, yeah, the altar as well. Oh, yeah, you go through the backyards at this section. But, yeah, over in Can the graveyard oh, to that's your right. Cut. Oh, yeah, you're going to the chimney. I have to go this way. No, I have to go. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Here's some, here's some action. Yeah, you're trying to get to the other side of this. What the fuck happened through here? And I think there's like a... Um, it's locked from this side. We that, gotta go through the house. Yeah, either in the room you were just in or the other room, there's like something you can shoot in the roof to get a treasure or whatever. Oh, really? Not reading that? Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, really. You guys remember the owl? Which owl? Oh, really? Yeah, really. I don't. Oh. <laughs> this is a loom. Look, they're making cotton. Making fabric. What the fuck? Why they gotta scare me with all this wooden animal shit? That's like that Blade Runner toy. That Ryan uh, Gosling. No, who's the Blade Runner guy? Everyone likes Ryan. Harrison Ford. No, <laughs> well we like him too. Who's the new one though? Yeah, it's Ryan Gosling. Gosling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got that little wooden toy. Oh Doesn't yeah. Doesn't it look like this? K fighting for what's his. Oh yeah, it was like a little goat. Yeah. Bah. 
And on the bottom, oh, it says the birthday of your of fucking, me. of me. Oh, it says you're special, K. You, I shouldn't call you K anymore. I need to call you Joe. Special K is good. So I fucking love Special K. What, what's that actress's name that's in that Blade Runner 2049? Oh, I don't know. She's his, or she's his little like cyber girlfriend. Oh, I love oh, it. Anna de Armas. Oh, Anna de Armas does such a good, that, that such a good job in that. I knew you were special. That was my Anna de Armas impression. Poor Joy. <laughs> she gets deleted. Oh, I know. That's so sad. That fucking. I know. Love. It's such a good villain. That movie's. Oh, we talk about it that every time. Great. Every time we bring it up, we just go. Ah, that movie's so good. Yeah, I gotta watch it again now. Ooh, it's better than any it's been, of them. It's been a while since I watched it, but I, I would love to watch it. I think I watched it like two months ago, even. Like, I, I watch it a lot. That's good. <laughs> it's it's worth it. I mean, the, the 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 movie is so much fun. What a sequel. And it is, yeah, it's Denny, Denny Villeneuve. Villeneuve? Villeneuve. It's Denny. He did, Hi! He did Doom. He did Doom 2. So stoked. We got a Doom 2. Arrival is one of my favorite movies. Period. We got a Doom 2 trailer last uh, yeah. like last time I was in the theaters, I saw it. I haven't been to the movies in like two months. Isn't that yeah, weird for me? I, can't, I canceled my fucking Regal Pass. I should have because I've wasted it for two fucking months. Oh, I wasted months. it for six. Like, once it got oh. to that point, I'm like, we're done, though. If I need to go see a movie, I've already wasted my life. <laughs> like, if you're going to go a lot for a certain couple of months... Get the movie pass, go for a month, and then cancel it. Me and Trish just got busy. That's what happens. I got you get busy. busy. So you don't, like, when you normally were going a bunch and it, and it made sense, it's cool. But when you don't go at all, then you pay $24 for dick all. Yeah, you get screwed. You, yeah, self-screwing. And I ain't You're talking about jerking out big style. No, not big style, dude. A bad style. That's what I say. Yeah. Oh, this is the one where you look through the window to see the code. And I get scared. But I think it's like 735 or some shit. He knows it by heart. Look at you. And then, or it's like 785. I can't remember. But I love the little jump scare here because it's so cute. It's cute. Yeah, because it's just perfect Resident Evil. Let's see. What's the code say? Ah! Oh, my God, Brian. Tried to told you. Got me even now. Oh, I think it's like 0704 or something. Let's see if you remember it. Uh, I don't. I know two of the numbers. It's 04. 0704-08. 0704-08. Damn, I did remember it. You did? Yeah. <laughs> I did. 0704-08. That is what you said first? Seven. Yeah. Well, I said 08 as you were finding it. 04 I love it. I give it to you, Brian. I bet you that's when a Resident Evil came out. Resident Evil 4 release date. There's the 1911. We're just gonna sell it though, for the money. Cause like I said, we're we're wow. Lemmy cucked. Uh, the, we're gonna use the Lemmy. I used a lot of the 1911 in this game. I, I I do like the 1911, but we're Lemmy cucked. That's good. Cause we've already put all our money into it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would just sell the M11 then. 1911. I'm going to equip it and use the ammo, but yeah, I'm not going to reload, reload it. Yeah. I'll watch you reload. It's going to be great. It'll auto-reload on me. Yeah, exactly. Hey, asshole. Right in the fucking kneecap. One. Sit the fuck down. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh. And the Lemmy is a fucking beast. The Ada DLC, the separate ways. Oh, I still got to do that. That's oh, been the that's been pretty sound? good. I'm close to the end of that. I oh, think. really? I think. Yeah, I don't think they're that long. It's they're crazy how hours. all the stuff that people were like, "Oh man, they took this out of RE4 remake." It was all in the separate ways. Did they? I think everything that I saw people complaining about was like not in the core game, like this set piece or this oh. kind of like area of the map. They all ended up being in different ways released through the DLC. Oh, okay. So that game is really like the most complete. Like Resident Evil 2 Remake. Like Resident Evil 4 Remake is like so complete. Yeah. Whereas like Ryan, you know, was kind there of pointing is. out, Resident Evil 3 is a little little lacking compared to its original. Yeah, they could have added some more things. They did, they did some it good It had its mercenaries it. mode. It had, it had like the... It had all the stuff. It's like I didn't even need that, but... Yeah. 
it, it added it added some stuff. I I know I'm biased. I enjoyed it just because. Yeah. Well, it was a fun. It had fun and gameplay. I, That's think, what it came down to. I think I had like a, a gift card to buy it. So for me, it, it like cost me nothing, and so I enjoyed it. It costs nothing. Yeah. Okay, we can go under here now. You know he's doing it. Ethan, that's not good. Keep going. Don't stop. It's not a good noise I would stop for. Let's see. Anything back here at this crashed van? Yeah, I think you can get stuff in the, in the house. Oh, I see. Yeah. There's a box here. Fuck yeah. Two more shells. We got. We're looking good on shotgun ammo. Yeah. I'm gonna let the Lemmy rest for a while. I just popped off. Yeah, that's what I liked about school. this game. You could kind of like. Um, Is this? No, it's red. Something's in here still. Yes, it might be in the second part of the house though, on the other side. That I don't have access to. No, no, it's just the uh, like the. Look at this. Out house side of it. Fucking rammed their fist through the side of the wall. Uh, I can't get in there though. See there on the left, the door. This? Yeah, watch out for the pig. <laughs> Fuck you, trying to come up on me, pork. Turn you into bacon, son. It's the way we do. The animal carriers, see that? They must have cats. I got two of those for my cat. Nice. I still don't have the crank for this. I can't nah. can't crank my shit. Uh, There's a lockpick in there. Do I have a lockpick? No. No, oh, yeah. yeah. You do. You do. Ew. Ew. Lock. Oh, lady. Like lady. Lady. <laughs> Flagging wagon. Why? Oh. Watch out. It's inside. It's inside. It's back in here. Is it in the other house? Oh, it is in the other house. There's a there's a drawer inside the other part. A drawer. Drawer, as a girl a at my drawer. work used to say. And I would laugh at him. I know, I love public ridicule and shame. Well, when you say a word wrong and you've been corrected, don't keep saying it. Drub word. It's uh, Trisha, Trisha says breakfast, like on purpose. Wait, and not, I go, not Wait. on purpose? Yeah, yeah, sorry. She she goes out of her way to say breakfast, even though I've been like, Yo, do you think it's funny to say breakfast wrong that way yeah. instead of breakfast? And, the, yeah, I think she does it now just to bother me. Oh, no, yeah, now she's doing it to bother me. It's for, breakfast. For the longest time, apparently, I was saying quarter wrong, because I would say quarter. Quarter. A quarter. Just give me a quarter. Quarter portion. And I say drawer instead of drawer. You don't say tror, tur, turlet, but do you? But she would say drawer, which drawer. is not the word. Drawer. It's <laughs> drawer. Draw. It's fucking weird. Draw. Anyway. Drawer. What about, uh... Oh, yeah, you crawl through here, now you go to Oh, the I think right. it's really funny. Trish can't say oh. Ozempic. She says Amezepec. Every over Every time we're talking about that weight loss drug. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The one that, the one that people are getting, like, heroin chic on. Heroin chic <laughs> on Omezepec. She, I'm like, what? What, what do yeah. you call it? It's like you and pesetas. Piestas. <laughs> Oh, uh, my piestas. I think I've corrected you like four times. Piestas. And you keep saying piestas. Uh, my piestas. <laughs> oh, wait, I go under here again? Yeah, because you went through the house. You can either go through the house again or whatever. You just have to go right down this trail. I go down this <sighs> fucking house a trail again. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I didn't go this way. Yeah, you're trying to get to the house with the red uh, What's up? Chimney. You still here? Chim chim Sit the fuck down. Chim 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 Sit the fuck chim down, you two. Tree. A cockney accent that is so bad by me. <laughs> you gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to scare old Ethan Winters. You fucking lichen son Trogledite. of a bitch. Oh, yeah. oh, whoa. Never mind. You're pretty big. For you. You're pretty big, but I'm shooting you right Dome now. Dome Then he'll blow his helmet off. Yeah. Throw a pipe bomb. I don't remember it being so you. fucking tough. I see that. Thank you, Brian. Can you fucking die? Live. Person. Werewolf. Die, person. How's our health? We're doing orange. Doing all right. We're doing orange. No one coming back that way. I just want to make sure I kill absolutely every last motherfucker standing. Absolutely. See, this is really interesting because it's like... 
What Vector said last week to us. Is it survival horror if you're playing a second playthrough? And we came to the agreement, no, it's not. And it really isn't because, man, I am not surviving anywhere. I'm just killing everything that moves. Yeah. And I'm being completely, like, uh, capable while doing that. I'm getting all the ammo I'm going to need. Yeah. I'm being, like, procedurally rewarded health items and pickups to, you know, keep advancing. Ah, that's all still locked. Oh, this is the iron gate key I could use. There was like mm -hmm. something down here. Anything? And then there's like the uh, the luthier's down house here. behind you. Didn't we already do that one? Didn't their house burn down? Uh, no, right here with a sign on it. Oh yeah, I can like break this now. Yeah. But maybe we don't have the key. Yeah, you need the luthier's key or whatever the fucking word is. Guitar. We don't have the Guitardo key. We have the Iron Insignia, the Winged key, and the Demetresque. I don't know. It's like he plays a fiddle. Something oh, got to be in here. I remember this. Jump scare? Guy. It's poop. A lock pick. Oh, no. A lock pick. Okay, good. Wait. Follow. Wait. Follow. Who's in Wait. here? Follow. Whoa. Oh, yo. Oh. Dude. Piece of shit. Why are you all big and buff and hiding in the fucking dark in here? Why are you trying to scare me? He did. I'll feel better, Ethan. We'll take the doll oh, head. Nice. Well, we need the doll head. We took the doll body. Excuse Got a me. machine head. Oh, no. Better than the rest. Green to red. No one up there. There's something in that oven, I think. Oven? What oven? Oh, shit. Isn't there? No. Oh, there might have been one of the little... Goats? Yeah. Or a bobblehead or something Some. that I already did. Some shit I already did, right? That's a shit I don't like. Oh, yeah. We're making all kinds of stuff. Let's reload GCJ everything. Kate. Reload, reload it. Reload check. Reload it. That's what I call this. What do you call it? It's a reload check. Okay, I like When that. I go through all of my weapons to make sure. Resident Evil is the game that taught me to never go anywhere without reloading. Don't first. want. Yeah, after you get into a firefight, reload that immediately. When the when an enemy is killed in Mercenaries, it's like it's second nature to just hit the fucking square to reload right after. Yep. Kill someone, reload. If I Yeah, if I have the ability to do it, then I, then I do it. It'll get me in trouble because I'll kill one person and there's a second enemy on screen and I stop to reload and get bit. It's like, ah, you have enough ammo to kill both of them. Okay, this is the where we drop back in. Yeah. Here, to a previously in. unlocked area. It's through here, I believe. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Boom. And there's chickens running around or no? Hey, look at that. Previously on Hey, look at this. Oh, wait, we were in here. But now we can actually go through here. Right, here. Yeah. And there's chickens around here somewhere chicken. you can get. Yeah. Little fucking guys. Shit Should I get him? Die, person. Person. Do oh no, I think you're supposed to let him live. So then no, you, uh, you can take the bolt. This, this he doesn't game lay an drops. egg. He doesn't lay an egg. Uh, I can't remember. I don't remember. It's alright. We'll kill him. I think Joker laid an egg. Oh, very funny, Brian. Very funny. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the children love that joke. Uh, they love when the Batmobile lost the wheel and the Joker got away. They or laid an egg, depending on what version you listen sure, to. Sure, yeah, sure. Sure, why not? It's Halloween. I want to know, what, which version was yours, uh, chat? Joker got away or laid an egg? Well, it doesn't make sense. The penguin would lay an egg, but the Joker would get away. That's all I'm saying. It just makes it makes more sense. How did the back? Batmobile lose its wheel, though? That doesn't make any sense. I know. Maybe Robin didn't tighten them enough. So there's a rope that I follow. Robin laid an egg. Okay. Boom. But, there you go. There you go. That makes way more sense. Jingle Anything? bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. Oh, Batmobile lost his wheel and Joker got away. You're right. I okay. unlocked it. I unlocked it, Brian. I didn't even try to know it was sealed before. 
February 1st, two more sacrifice to Mother Miranda. Who's over here? Right. One, two, Daddy. three, four. Shoot him in his butt. He's dead. Damn. Shot him right in the butt. Damn. I heard him growling over here. No. Turned into a lichen. Who's in here? Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Got a little jumpy. I'm not liking it. Got a little scared. Did you get some? Examine. Oh. Ooh. Oh. oh. Joker did ballet. That's the Why are we one. doing it? I've never heard that one, dude. The That's, Joker did yeah, ballet. Batmobile uh, and Joker did ballet because, you, you know, I guess it's it's not good to be. It's not good. Oh, the one-winged key became the four-winged key. Four-winged key, dude. I'm going to hit the... Give that key it. to fucking Kenny Never Omega. The, yeah, I mean, he's going to hit the... Kenneth Omega. Damn. That's the one bummer. Going out of town again for the tour. Oh. No, no more wrestling. wrestling. And it's hard to find enough time to like work out, honestly. So the weight training is going to have to take a little subsistence. Subside? Yeah. I guess. It'll subside. The show must go on, as they say. You know, we're, we're here to bring funny memories to all internet soldiers and mega six defarians we are who come out and uh check out the farewell tour i'm just gonna have to shrink a little that's okay it won't be that much so nah, it's hey, like... hey even easier to put it back in yeah oh you can use the uh crank you got all right i cranked my what say what on the well did you get the uh i don't think i got it yet there's also a pickup on the maiden i think well wheel oh it's a well wheel a pickup. You can get the one by the church too. Yeah, there's a couple, right? There's the uh, a the wooden animal guy. head. You combine them. Um, oh my god. You are crazy for this. Yeah, there you go. You're a fucking real one for this, Brian. Combine it. I don't know what the fuck to do. You went to examine instead of combine. I'm falling asleep, uh, <laughs> guys. I gotta admit, it's been a long fucking drive back from LA. I know, man. Sat in that traffic, fucking. Was Christ. that today you were in traffic? No, I'm sorry. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. still, you know. Yeah, today it was good. it was just nice and warm. Took the dogs out. Spent my last kind of like Ooh, you can go under time with table. Trish. Oh, what's in here? I hate to ask. I think there's some. There's definitely something down there. It's almost sparkling in there. I know. You have to shoot it. I can't just get it. No. Wait. Duck. D oh, crouch. There we go. Vernonite or v some shit. No snakes? Teddy bear? This is my daughter's teddy bear. Is that my fucking daughter in there? Take should it we, easy. Should we reveal where that... Uh... That's the father. What is it? It's Mulholland... It's Mystic River. It's Mystic River. Yeah, it's, it's Kevin Bacon and... Sean Penn. Sean Penn. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kevin Bacon, but it's Sean Penn screaming. <laughs> I like that girl. Go There's some other guy in the background that just very clearly goes, Let me in, you motherfuckers! <laughs> I like that guy the most, I think. I thought that was all him. No, there's like other people in a crowd where he's like trying to like get past a police, oh, okay. a police line in Mystic River. There's Sad like a movie. police lineup. Yeah, I've, ne I've never actually seen Mystic River. It's just like a oh, perfect '90s movie for a quote for this thing. Like mm -hmm. awesome. It's probably like, is that a '90s movie or is it 2000s? It's 2000s. Yeah. I think to your left, you might still have the chance to shoot the blue bird. Branches somewhere. Bluebird dancing in the branches of night. Maybe. Take it's these. Let high. me see. You think he's up this way? I don't know. Fuck this bird. Yeah, if you don't care, then I don't care. Where? What? Uh, you can sell some of the shit if you want. Uh, go to your right. Um, oh yeah, let's go talk to dude. I think, that, I think that's what you have to do after you let's go sell. through here. You get the key, and then he tells you, oh, now you go through, now this, you go other through this other door. And we can sell some shit to your hungry ass. 
How was I'm speaking it? of fucking hungry you know asses. I know. I found these feathers. Uh, well, actually, I think that's more of a reference to how much you can take. Down. You know what I'm saying? Peg pegging wise. Oh, hungry ass. Different type of hungry ass, though, Brian. That carne asada burrito is calling. Yeah, I got the reverse of a hungry ass. I got yeah. a hungry Four. stomach. You have the one. The other lords have the rest. I can taste the carne asada already. Uh, oh, man. It's burrito time. Soon. We've been wait. going for a long time. Two and a half? No. Two forty-five. Two thirty. Damn. Okay. Yeah. You have to hear some lore. The first you've already met. The first you've already met and killed and uh, kind of fucked their whole family up. Uh, <laughs> here's the next one. Uh, not much we know about this puppet. <clears throat> Of her playmates have ever come back. Oh, that dang old estate. I love that part of the game. Yeah, I can't wait for that part. Is, is Moreau, that next? A being of twisted I flesh think, isn't the frog the guy next? The he might be. We I, doing th fish? I thought it was Lady... The fish man? The I thought it was Husband Vinavito. I feel like that's third. Back. You might be right. I forget. Well, we'll know because the key will only let us into the right door. For right. For real. <laughs> for right. Dude, for right, dog. We should end the show after this cutscene. You should just skip this cutscene. We already know where to go. Okay. Three, two. Let's talk to Randy Leahy Jr. Let's get our last call in. We're going to sell some shit. We're going to save. Treasures. We've got the world map now, and the first time they ever, like, in Resident Evil, show you, like, a boss icon. Like, there's our four bosses. Oh, yeah, because it's all the different houses. Yeah, interesting. Hey, Randy Leahy. What's, What's up, up, Randy? What's up? Hey, guys. If you truly How you wish doing? To save your daughter, you must first Happy I'm Wednesday. I'm doing excellent, Rich. I'll do you yeah, a great show tonight, guys. Uh, been Long enjoyable. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good to hear it. Uh, how are you celebrating Some on this Day of the Dead? Are you remembering uh, loved ones lost? Sure each one will prove of great use to you. <laughs> Thankfully not, I suppose. Okay, well then, think, think of, uh, of some uh, other loved ones. Service. You know, maybe they Please weren't related, but Vern Troyer is gone, as you can see. He's still with us, though. Stay prayed wow. up. You know, stay prayed up. Uh, exactly, Brian. Exactly, my sentiment is exactly. It's a wonderful tribute. Think about um, Joey. Uh, think about uh, who Joey? else, Brian? Yeah, from Friends. Joey. <laughs> think about uh, who else, Brian? <laughs> think about these on the Day of the Dead. This is where we remember yeah, our, the, the fallen, you know. Joey, not we, you're making a mo this is you said the uh, Wikipedia yes, was a I somber thing. Find some quality ingredients. Making yes, a well, fucking a, making a mockery no, of this. No, they, right they, now. they uh, the other part of it is that they make jokes uh, and like remember funny times and anecdotes. So. I remember how funny Vern Troyer was when he went, I uh, I uh, I do, I uh, I uh, I did appreciate them so much in Austin Powers. Well, I'm talking about the big brother appearance. I'm big brother, he was like, I oh. uh. Uh, and he was he was pissing in the corner of the Big Brother household, making I that noise. I forgot about that shit, dude. It's good times, dude. It is good times. Anyway, but uh, that's not what you called about, Randy. Good to hear that yes. you're here, Randy. Can I make any of this shit? No. I made it all already, though, in, in my the, first yeah, in the other file, first yes. playthrough, right? Anyway, Randy, how can we? Help I wanted you? to ask uh, sure, Vern please. if maybe uh, we could get a wheel spin. Tonight. Oh. Ooh, get a wheel spin from old Vern tonight. Okay. It's a good way to go on out. That's a really good way. I'm looking at the valuable collectibles here. The wooden go. Oh, we just made 15 grand on that. Get rid of all this poultry. Yeah. Get rid of all that meat. We'll keep the lock pick. <laughs> Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. There you go. Are you going to sell the... What should I sell? 1911, or do you want to keep Oh, it? you're right, Brian. I forgot. Where's We're that? Going Lemmy all the way. Where's this piece of shit? Yeah, look at 20, 25 grand, dude. Let's it's gone. Go all the way. So it's gone. It's gone. it's gone. All the way. Now, you want a wheel spin. Money. What are you hoping for, Randy? Are you looking for feet tonight? Tell me what you want. I'm ready. <laughs> last time, last time I got show feet. So oh, we. Let's go for a review. Yeah, luck Ooh. of the Randy. Ooh, ah, hoo -ah. Oh, you could get extra baggage. To hunger. Uh, I go to therapy for You're less baggage, bro, oh. and I don't know about it. One of my most I want more. <laughs> I got my own personal Melfi. I don't want more. Someone to hear your complaints. 
Okay, we'll qualify for rifle upgrades. One moment, please. Besides the lone wolf, what else? Dollars. What else are we gonna spend the money on? Um. That's guess, it. Yeah, that's it. That's right? all we want. Randy so wants a wheel spin. Small. We yeah, want to spend some anything. money. Anything. We've spent the money, Thank Randy. Here patronage. it is for you. <clears throat> I'm gonna set the timpani up. Sick. Don't forget to save the game before we quit. We will not quit yet, Brian. It's not over yet. Oh. Here you go. I barely got that. Wow. That was hard pressed. Okay, here we go. For you, Randy Leahy. No feet, no whammies. Good old Vern watching over us. Let's do it. Big spin for Vern. Let's go. Burn and burn. <laughs> it's covering the fucking. <laughs> Ella. Oh, God. What did it land on? Is that what say did show it? feet? What did it land on? It looks like SH. It uh, looks like show feet. Brian. Oh, What my do you think that is? Goodness. What do you think that is, Randy? I can't, I can't tell. Look at one pass. I can't believe this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Here we go! It's the Christmas miracle. Yeah, enjoy this. Uh, thanks for calling, Randy. Pervert, 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 pervert. Here it comes. You're gonna get some fucking pervert, ass in this, too. Pervert. What? Look at the main can. You get some ass in this. Pervert, 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 pervert. Slide into my DMs. Jesus. I'll do customs. Here's I know. I don't think we should do customs. Be warned. Christ. Hey. It smells like, um... Hey guys, spirit. it's it's cheesy. This is jarred. It's Turn very the stream off. It's very cheesy. It's contagious. Okay, I have to show me. Show feet. feet now. <laughs> it's impressive. It's yes. the rage, yes. <laughs> I feel stupid. <laughs> now I'm shoeless. Showing feet. I hope now. you enjoy. It. You're showing a more than feet, Brian. <laughs> Entertain us. I yeah. hope you're happy, Randy. Uh, yeah. Good night, Randy. Yeah. Made my day, guys. Love it. Yeah. Thank you. Why, Brian? Why does it always have to be feet? Why did it always have to be? Feet? It's musty in here now. Snakes. Oh. Why did it have I'm to not be putting, snakes? I'm not putting any shoes back on until we go get carne asada. Me neither, man. Fuck that. Wore, I'm letting my I dogs. Slides, I'm letting the dogs breathe. Yeah. I'm gonna do. This is the new key. There it is, the path laid before us, the four winged Let's key. Save. Let's save now, as we've done all that we can do in this area. Should I just keep overriding? Yeah, let's start overriding. We haven't overrided yet, uh, but now that's gonna be our show. Remember, everyone. You can come check us out on tour. Brian's going to be out at the L.A. show. Brian's hit a new level of hunger, one which I've not seen before. Yeah. Just remember, sign into my DMs. You can get quality sock content. I doubt this uh, nets you many customers. Has it yet? You Has know, it worked if I yet? keep offering, it'll probably happen. Yeah, but then you just got to keep offering. I don't Make know. Make 200 bucks on it, then I'll, I'll fucking. It makes it. my skin crawl. It's great. Good night, um, folks. Make your skin crawl. Cool. Happy Halloweeny. <laughs> <laughs>